Alright, right, man. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. What's popping, man? Know, it's man. been um Life like a good. month or something like yeah, that. Yeah, bro. We taking a little, a little yeah, slow. Man. We gotta pick it up. Definitely mostly my fault, but you know it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. But more. You look kind of tan, bro. I just realized that you look kind of tan, red. I don't know which one it is. I don't know, man. You look kind of red. I haven't really been outside. I mean, I was outside today, but it was cold today in the morning. Yeah, it was nice and chilly. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think you know. Let me take this off, man. I know people gonna be looking at me like, what the heck is this guy wearing? Chico. The Chico is culturally man. confused. I'm just trying to get away. Is it Chico who's culturally life. confused? You know what I'm saying? Probably got like the little, uh, the little marks on yeah, my forehead. Yeah, got the marks. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Just like it's definitely flat as hell. That's good, man. Super Hold flat. My, my brush. My brush. All right, man. So tell me, Jorge, how's life, bro? Is is um no complaints, man? You got to check this for me, bro. My tape is in line, bro, because I'll be putting on this do-rag and my thing be moving out of place. Yeah, bro, it's, it's way crazy. It's, like, so flat, it's insane. Like, right now, it don't, I don't know, man. It, like, it literally looks like a wig. Like, you know, like a badly yeah, placed yeah. wig? Before it's supposed to be like that. Then you got to let it, like, you yes. know, catch some air. It starts getting puffy. But right now, bro, it's that thing like looking goes. rough. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. So, um, back at it again with a back at it again. Oh, um, yeah. How you been, bro? Tell me about your life real quick before we get this problem. Yeah, man. So it all started Tell back me. in 1994, bro. Uh-huh. The greatest year this world has ever seen, right? It was the birth of a legend in the making. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, everything's good, bro. Can't complain. You know, we, we were on vacation, kind of like a small, quick getaway last week. Yeah, man. It was good, man. Um, it was really good. You know, so I can't complain. Life's been yeah. chilling. Did you do anything you didn't want to do, I guess? Like something you missed? Or you did everything you wanted to do? Nah, I got everything. Oh, snap, I got the rate. Nah, I got, I got, I got everything done, bro. You know, I just, I'm definitely realizing though that um, my life is changing. I'm changing. Yeah. For when we went to Magic Kingdom, we went to one ride. Yeah. And I was perfectly okay with that. Yeah. So you wouldn't be okay with that, like, I, I, like two, three before. years ago, I'd be like, nah, man, because you know, I think as you like. We're all like bucket list driven, right? Like if you don't do certain things, like for example, if you don't go in a hot tub, you feel like you failed your whole for sure, right? Then my trip, yep. Well, for me, I was like, I feel like if I don't do certain things, then you know my trip was what or my day or whatever it, yeah, that yeah, specific yeah. scenario is, um, wasn't fulfilling. But lately, I'm realizing that as long as uh, I'm just like chilling, yeah, doesn't matter what that looks like in that moment, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'm I'm okay with that, yeah. you know, for sure. I I I think I could uh, agree with you, like in, in in that sense too. I know that like. Like, now when I go on vacation, I don't really even, like, like I, I guess it depends on where we go. I care about, I guess, like, the activities, mm-hmm. but not so much. Like, I really care more about, like, just really relaxing because, mm-hmm. um, I, I, you know, you go on vacation, I feel like you just have so much things that you want to get done that you don't, that I guess, like, it's almost not really a vacation. It, it's, I don't know, when I hear vacation, I think, like, relax. You get me? Like, yeah. and, and I feel like in a lot of vacations, at least earlier on, I didn't really get to relax. You know what I mean? It was like the itiner- itinerary is so full. Exactly. It's like, yo, we're going to this place. So it's like, okay, you know, we're off- obviously going to go to sleep late like most of the mm-hmm. time. So it's like, okay, but now we got to wake up like mad early. You know what I'm saying? Like, depending on where we are. Yeah. um, It's like, all right, bro, hurry up in the shower because, you know, somebody has got to jump mm-hmm. in there. You know what I mean? So it's like, it becomes like this whole like process. Like, of course, yeah. and obviously you have fun while you're there, but then like, you were like, damn, bro, I'm tired. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I just need yeah. a vibe. I need to chill. You need a vacation from the vacation. Yeah, man. So, I mean, I think lately all of my vacations have been like me chilling, like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've really just relaxed, unwind. It's, it's, I don't know, I've been chilling, so I have no complaints, especially when it comes to like, um, a place like, like Magic Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Or any, like, I don't want to say any, but, like, uh, most Disney World things now because I've already done it. You yeah. get me? So, for me, it's like, okay, I've already done it. I don't need to, like, like you know. I'm not missing again. out if I don't run it back. Right, right. Like, yeah. I, I I already know the experience. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's not like, I, I mean, again, like, I've gone to all these parks, done these rides multiple times. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it is what it is at this point. So. For sure. It was it was good, though. It was a good vacation. It was good on wine. Yeah, and the, the weather was beautiful. And the weather was really, out. really yeah. good. Yeah. And our weather's pretty good right now, actually. Yeah. It's getting Which cold at night. Weird. So, uh, you know it's actually going to get colder next week, right? So really? Allegedly, uh, and I say allegedly because supposedly, yeah. you know, the weather be changing, but it's going to be the low, I think, on, on Thursday. This Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe, like, Friday's going to be, like, in the 40s. Like, 49. Man, and then it's going to be, like, at 50. You heard your ladies, bring out your high boots, bring out the yeah. b- fattest coats you got. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm wearing all my hoodies that I didn't get to wear. <laughs> all of them. Take advantage of all of them. Yeah, because, you know. You got to layer up. You got to layer up. So yeah, tell man. me, bro. You you told me something about a tweet. What's yeah, up with yeah, that so, tweet? I'm okay, excited. Okay. So there's the thing now, right? So we've done this uh, show for um, almost two years now, mm-hmm. right? Close to two years. And 
so we have we've not had no structure at all. We just come in, we talk, mm-hmm. so, and you probably tell by yeah. some of the things that like, because there's no like actual like foundations. Anything. We just talk. You yeah, I mean, like whatever just, comes out that day comes out. Right, that right. Day. So I think that you know, like uh, maybe adding a couple segments here and there are probably gonna help us. Uh, just get the flow a little bit mm-hmm. better. So for sure, I said, "Yo, get a tweet. Get find the tweet." Uh, we usually do this uh, between me and you, right? Yeah. So like, I guess speaking to them is that uh, throughout the week, we'll like I'll send Chris like uh, something through Twitter or whatever. Be like, "Yo, hashtag Reckless Tweet of the Week." Like asking him a question because uh, my one of my favorite pastimes is definitely going on Twitter oh, for sure. For sure, because man, the shit that you see on Twitter, especially with the, with the girls, like I guess the. The, the female uh, community wilding. it's crazy yeah you know it's stuff that you don't ever hear a girl say in person or out loud is uh-huh. but you know i guess when it comes to being a tw- twitter fingers we out there you get me so um that's gonna be a new segment that we want to like at least mm-hmm. implement starting today uh wreck the suite of the week so what i wanted to do was this essentially okay we'll, we'll get you know one two however many tweets doesn't matter right and that way i could take the clip Put it online so that obviously that creates more content yeah, for of course. us. Yeah, yeah. And then in order to engage, I guess, with like, you know, people and stuff, and then we have them vote. Like, yo, you know, tweet one, tweet two, whatever. What what did you think was mm-hmm. reckless? And then we kind of just have that discussion on it. So, and either way, most of these tweets bring out a discussion in its own. Yeah, so that's the for goal. For sure. Yeah, and one of them is, I, I mean, I got one right now that's old. That I, I've been shared to you, but I kind of want to talk about it in broad. But do you have a new one or no? No, no, no. No I'm, new I'm, one? I was waiting on the one that you told me was fine. Okay, okay, had. okay. No, this was not fire, but this one is uh, the one I was telling you about this, this girl. This girl says, I'm not selling anymore six feet guys, question mark, N-T-Y. What's there? No, no, what the heck no, is thank N-T-Y? You. Oh, okay, no thank you. Okay, I didn't even know about them. That's young people stuff. So. No thank you. Where are my seven feet kings at, right? And then, <laughs> right? And then I remember some girl, okay, I don't even have that one. Some girl goes, um... Girl, you're lucky. You're. She said something along the lines of like, "Oh, you're lucky if you'll find uh, somebody seven. No, she says you're lucky if you even find someone that's above five seven in Miami. Like, like. So basically, she's trying to say like, you know, a lot of Miami guys are short. It's basically what she's trying to say, right? Um, and I guess this this girl was saying that yo, I'm done with these six feet guys. I want somebody taller, taller than that. right? Damn. How tall is she though? Um, that's a great question. You know, now that you mentioned that, I'm gonna go into her profile. Let me be, on, uh, be, be a stalker. Real quick. Yeah, be I don't know. Now nah, she doesn't have none in her bio because some girls be doing that. Some girls be like, oh, I'm five one. You know, and I, I have no clue. I have no clue who this girl is. First of all, um, let me see. She's like. She, does she have any known associates of mine that I knew? <laughs> so you can be like, standing right. next, yeah, she's standing next to him. I'll be like, okay, I kind of have a gauge, but I have, I have no idea who this girl is though. Well, I'm assuming, I'm, I'm assuming she's not six feet, of, I, and I I'm can't. assuming she's not five eight, and I'm assuming she's yeah. not five seven, and I'm assuming yeah. she's not five five. I'm assuming she's like five feet tall. You know, I will say this: I noticed like with tall girls. They usually put their stuff in their bio. I've noticed that. I think it's like as a as a it, disclaimer. Yeah, like yo, if you're trying to hit on me, just make sure like yo, I'm five eleven. So just so you know. Yeah, so okay. uh, all right. So like I was saying, right? Okay. So onto this this mm-hmm. height thing, right? So okay. So this girl basically says, uh, and this is this is not so much reckless tweet of the week, yeah. um, per se, but it's a tweet that definitely grabbed my attention right now, just because it's interesting. So, uh, brilliant idiots, right? They came and they hit a really uh, interesting topic, right? A double standard, right? Like, okay, so when a man talks about a woman, mm-hmm. uh, it's considered, you know, we're sexist, we're demeaning, we're um, sexualizing, uh, we're uh, objectifying, all of these things, right? But then when a woman, right, does it, then it's it's okay, you know? it's it. Nobody has nothing to say about it. It's like kind of slipped under the rug and, you know, we continue on this thing, right? So, first of all, this is why I chose this to be Reckless Suit of the Week for me so far. So, I'm going to assume right now, I'm going out on a limb and say, you are nowhere near six feet tall. You are probably somewhere around five something, uh, if I would assume. I am, the reason why I'm going to assume is because of um, what we know to be the general, I guess, average height for a woman. You get what I'm saying? I don't really see too many... Six foot women. Now I do see a lot of five nine, five ten, sometimes five eleven type girls. You know, I point it out to you all the time. Be like, bro, these girls out here are tall as fuck, yeah, right? Man. It's a GMOs though. It's a GMOs for sure. Because these generation of girls is way taller. For sure, like it's it, it's crazy. But now, two things. 
One, we grown around a lot of Hispanic girls for a lot of our lives. So we know that n- normally, I would say, Hispanic people are shorter, on the mm-hmm. shorter end, normally. You get me? It's not too often I've seen a Hispanic girl that's like, bro, over 5'6 or something like that. You get me? Like, once I see a girl that's like 5'7, five, 5'8, five, I'm like, whoa, that's mm-hmm. pretty tall for a girl. It's not, that's not normal. And the second thing is the types of girls that I see at this above average height is usually white girls. It's never really like any other mm-hmm. race, at least for me. You get me? Like, I always, like, when I go to like Target or whatever, it's like these super tall white girls, like ginormous white girls. So that's that that that's the clue I'm playing. Now I I get it, but this girl's probably just fucking around. Like, yo, I've had enough of this motherfucker here that I've been seeing for a while. I'm sick of this guy. I want something rare, of right? Of course, yeah. Now speaking for all the short people out there, because you know I'm gonna be in my feelings about this. You know what I'm saying? A- a- every now and then. So, you know, on the good, like I said, like I always say, but on the good day, I'm like five four. When I'm laying down, I'm like five five. Because everybody knows when you get taller, gravity's not pressing on you no more. You get me? So yeah, you're not yeah, com- yeah. being it's compressed. Like, it's like of midgets. I mean, what? No, no. I'm saying because like, it just like it makes sense, right? When you stand up, you get compressed by gravity, right? But then when you lay down, you're no longer compressed. Especially like if you like wiggle a little bit. Like if you stretch your spine <laughs> and out. you bend your toes. Yeah, yeah, like you stretch out and gravity's only coming down your stomach. That's why like, why do you think guys, when they like... Uh, they love taking the ab picture when they lay down. Exactly, because gravity's just pushing on you. All you gotta do is flex a little bit, and you just see. You know what I'm saying? Like and the right lighting. You know, yeah, it, it's specifically you know the lighting is is this. You have to have a dark room, and you have to have that flash. So, so you have that contrast into the, the exactly the like the shade, yeah. the shadow gets into the abs. The abdominals. Yeah, and you can start thirst trapping properly. You know what I mean? And you know so we we you're are dropping no, knowledge right here, George. Yeah, no, I, I am. I'm. I'm telling guy, you, this, guy this, is, trap. this is physics, and this is um, and this is pure science that I'm talking about at this point. You guy, guy around. thirst trapping. That yeah, because good. look, you gotta think about it. Like, this is all psychology right here, right? Thirst trapping and just laws of physics. You get me? It just makes sense. So when you lay down, you're clearly taller. That just makes sense. Yeah, especially if you stretch out. Like, I'm telling you, you shim a little bit so your spine gets, like, intact and you kind of just stretch your feet out, like you said, a little bit and you expand a little bit. Everybody knows I, that. I think we got to put a disclaimer down here. Everything he said is not scientific. No, it, it, it no, no. Court. Time out. It is. It will not be on the court. Whatever, man. I don't know, bro. If you ever get a lawsuit, so, bro, we're going to bring this tape back and be like, we all okay. know. That George is a la- slander, that's a liar. That's okay. That's okay. I will never get sued out here in these streets. <laughs> Best believe that. So, my point here is this. So, a woman can come out and say things like, um, oh, I, mm-hmm. I just want tall guy. I want a tall guy. This and the third. But then, if a guy, I guess, goes ahead and says, I, just, I want a fat ass. I want some big titties. I want a little waist. I want a girl with abs. I want a girl that's slim. All of a sudden, he's a jerk. Cause he's he's uh, an asshole. He's a uh, whatever. He's a douchebag. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I I just I just think you know it's my job. It's my duty. You know what I'm saying? As a law-abiding citizen, you know what I'm saying? To bring to fruition. You know what I'm saying? These causes that are de- like these are women pressing on men. That's all it is. It's women oh, pressing on men. Well, Listen, the look. Hurt people hurt people. And I understand that men have oppressed women for a very long time. So you know now women are returning the favor. Yes, that's all it is. So, you know, all of this talk about equality and stuff. Like that, it's not about equality. It's for a bigger purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's for a takeover. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? You give somebody. It's like, you know, the 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 best line uh, Lil Wayne has said a long time ago. He's like, you give a girl an inch, now she wants a mile or wh- whatever the, the, the case is. Um, you give her a hand and take Actually, no. His line is yeah. actually more nasty. I think that's the regular line, right? Yeah. Like, give somebody an inch, yeah. they want to take a mile. I think his line is like, why would she want an inch when she could have nine? Yeah. But that's like sexual. Yeah. So never mind, but close that one out. But you kind of get what I'm getting at, right? So like, so, so for me, this whole this whole entire tweet thing was funny though, just because I'm like, bro, you probably are like five something. The fuck you want? I really do want to know that though. Like, why is that such a big thing? Like, why is it that, um, and obviously I'm going to be mad about it because I'm little, but you know what I'm saying? I, I do want to know though, like, Overall, why is that a thing? Like, so why are we in this time of equality or whatever talking so much still about like heights and about uh, all of these, I guess, like things that are frivolous. They, they, they don't matter. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're like for like the pretty boys like you. Like I would say like the guys that have pretty people privilege, 
You guys don't think about these things. You guys, it doesn't you affect guys. you. Yeah, because it doesn't affect you guys. You, know I mean? you guys get to walk around. You 5'10", right? 5'10 and a half, something like that? 5'11". You're not 5'11". You're not 5'9". Like you like five five, you really like five like, nine, but like, you know, we'll give you 5'10". I'm like 5'10". You said you better say 5'11". You're not 5'10". I'm like five, I told you, I told you 5'10 and a half for fun. Like, you know, no, you're not really 5'10". I'm like 5'10 and three quarters. You're like five. Get the stick. Get the measuring stick. No, I've already sorted this out. No. Yeah. Didn't we, uh... Yeah, and I got like 5'10 and a half. Yeah, but you had like some big ass roshi runs or you had on. You I, did. I don't you did. All right, whatever Nike shoes you was wearing at the time with the big ass heel, bro. Your nah, shoes got a big bro, heel, bro. Nah, bro. Bro, nah. come on. Don't bro. try to set me up. Don't right, try man. to set me up. All right, Chris. Now we're trying to be not humble. Huh? That's what you're doing. Nah, That's what we're doing. Me up. But you know, I have to tap on to what you were saying. Um, the thing that this girl told me on Friday. Wait, is this is this explained to me the height thing? No, it has to do with all the things that you talk about, how like women okay, okay, always okay. say like, oh, you know, men talk about my body, but I can't, but like they talk about men's body all the time, all right? Right. True. true. And this is this is the yeah, woman. This girl told me at work, she was like, uh, essentially, I forgot where the conversation started, but she basically told me, oh, that's why good-looking people are never cons- are never accused of sexual harassment. It's the ugly one that is. Like, if a good-looking dude comes onto a girl, mm-hmm. chances are she's not going to feel like he's sexually harassed her. Got she's going to feel like, damn, he likes me. Got it's you. when the she ugly, guy, yeah, when the ugly guy comes, uh-huh. right? That's when she's like, yo, this guy's sexually harassing me. <laughs> and then that's, that's, whole idea, that's the whole idea of people, uh, pretty people privilege. They right, get right. away with some slickness right, right. that someone who's not as appealing right. would it. Well, I mean, but I, I think, you know, for you to be considered pretty people i think you need to have like uh, for you to be considered a pretty boy a pretty girl whatever you need to come with a full package you know i mean i think for girls um it doesn't even matter if like a girl's height doesn't matter yeah but but for example like all right let's say this girl's really about that life right and that seven foot stud comes with her okay she's gonna let us like with saying some things that she wouldn't like let a a five uh, five guy average guy get that you know what i'm saying because she's like I'm kind of one. I want that, so I need to make it work. Got you, got. You. So she'll, she'll, she'll let it be passive. Yeah, yeah she, because she wants uh, that. So so you're saying then? Basically, what you're saying is that women only stand up for their rights when it's convenient. Convenient. Just like everybody sense. else in life. Ah. What, what rights do you defend? The Ooh. ones that benefit you. Okay. You don't keep, defend keep a right that. that doesn't def- affect you. Keep going like, on that. Keep think going about on it. That. Like, uh-huh. all right. Why do you care about a certain tax right when right. It, you finally in that tax bracket? Right. True. <laughs> Why do true. you care about certain homeowner tax when you finally own a home? True. Right. True. Why do you care about certain tobacco when you start uh, tobacco legal age changing? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you yeah. smoke cigarettes. Makes sense. Right? right. So why do certain women care more about uh, you know pushing equality? Right. And I say equality because some people don't understand what equality is and equity is. Right. right. Why do people care about equality? And, and this feminism movement to a certain extent, and other people go all the way out. Mm. Right. Because it's only to the point that it affects them. Got you. That makes sense. Okay, so so like you said, so the basically the whole plays on convenience. Yeah, it everything, all plays on convenience. Everything. Okay, well that you see that starts to make sense though. But so basically what you're saying is though, like at the end of the day, this whole um this whole movement of equality and whatnot isn't real then. It's I, just it's just trying to get one up. That's, that, essentially. It is it is it is real to some people, right? Because some people have a okay. very good argument when they're like, yo, even at work I'm not treated the same as a man. So I can see that. Yeah. But then, you know, there's those that piggyback on that argument and try to one-up you. Right, So it's right, like, right. before we weren't equal, now I don't want to be equal either. I want to be better. Gotcha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Because so, there's always like that hustler in every... Yeah. Trend, like, well, using any of it to his advantage. That, that's a good point right there, though. And I'm kind of off topic, but that's a good point right there, though. It's true. I think that that's just human... That's just human nature, though. Yeah. Like, once you reach a level... It, it just makes sense for you to reach another yeah, one. You're like, reach another you're like one, you know what? One. Why would I settle for this when I can have that? Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, man, look, man. Point here is uh, I, don't, I don't really understand the whole... um to- like, like, okay, I understand it from a prim- primitive point of view, right? Back then, you know, you're a caveman and you're a woman and you start to get some form of understanding. Like, okay, um, this dude right here could protect me because he's mm-hmm. like freaking humongous. I see him whoop everybody out here in these shit. And this happens in the wild to this day. I see him whooping everybody's ass. You get me? He can protect me. He can defend me. I can mate with this guy. He's going to be a provider. All of that. So I understand that primitively. And coming into now, that DNA, I feel like it has stayed with us. Because we still look at the same mm-hmm. things. Like, you know, a girl's hips, you know, in mating. A man's, you know, toughness. Shoulders. Or, right, shoulders, all that stuff. 
to mating and you know that that's kind of what you just you know like we we might look at it at this day we're not necessarily looking at it as mating we're looking at it as sex but mm-hmm. it's mating is the same thing yeah like because mating that doesn't mean just give kids right just in general right i, I but, would but, say well now let me try to offer you a that was a big question okay right so back in the days you wanted big hips right mm-hmm. in, small in, waist uh, big uh, hips no back then no back then you didn't care about small waist because by then so? it was all about childbearing Right? Why because, would bigger because, hips? Because the whole idea was of back then was survival, right? So it's like uh, you want a woman that's going to be able to survive your legacy by producing the most amount of children because children were dying quickly. Right, right. right. So that's why excessively you were playing the odds. You would have 15 children hoping seven would survive. God. Because, wait, you know, wait. most would die. And talking about like, like but you know. But what is the science behind thinking that big hips means you can. It, it wasn't the science. It was a common understanding, right? So like cultures, mo- most cultures will point to the fact that if a woman had big breasts and big hips, she was meant to be a mother, right? Uh, because, you know, the breast milk and also because she had the hips to child rear. Right? A nigga thought of this, bro. Right. But that's probably <laughs> what it is. Who thought of that's this, probably bro. how it is, right? But now. What if? We, how come we want just the sexual appeal of that, right? But we still want the small waist because we don't want the reproduction aspect of it. Like, is that mm. because part of it is still ingrained in the old, and part of it has moved to a new way where we don't see sex as as you know a way of yeah, multiplying, yeah. but rather as way of just satisfying? Well, I mean, even in that sense, I think that we just okay. So we've moved on, though. I guess modern day is just that is the aesthetic of today. You get what I'm saying? Like this, like you. That Kim case. Yeah, it's just okay. Back then, like when you were fat, like uh, you know, you're considered like wealthy. Like that yeah, looked good. That, that was appealing. good. That was needed. That's yeah. appealing. Nowadays, you're fat. It's like, bro, get your fat ass out of here. Like nobody wants to talk to the yeah. fat boy like that, right? Like so, it, it, it. I mean, well, that's not necessarily all the way true, but you kind of get what I'm getting yeah. at, right? To to a degree, we could discuss that too. But you kind of get what I'm getting to a degree. So, I bet that's just the aesthetic of today. So I don't know. I just feel like a lot of, a lot of that's just in ingr- like it's yeah, like but, but passed it's, it's on like, through DNA. But it's like it's a transition, right? You said it back then. Uh, weight implied that you have food, therefore you were well off. Right. Now having like you know this physic as a physique that is attractive implies well off. Well. Right. So yeah, I guess is that not really though. Nowadays, yeah. not really. Yeah, bro, cause because because like, be, but it's a lot of it has to do with culture. It has to do with uh, media. No, I right? think a lot of it has to do with just DNA. Like I feel like it's just ingrained in you. Cause think about think about this real quick. Okay, let's say let's say me, right? Let's say I was jacked up, lean, big motherfucker, right? Six feet tall, whatever. Doesn't doesn't mean that I'm successful. Doesn't mean that no, I have money. Of doesn't, course doesn't not. Mean but doesn't mean but I'm healthy. Th- there's there's a science, right? Like there's even science to this that uh, there's the symmetry makes people more attractive, right? Like you know, and so uh, if people don't, you don't scientific, you don't like you're not processing that scientific and thinking that person's pretty because they're symmetrical. But your <sighs> your your mind processes that without you analyzing why it's processing that way. But that's it what I'm saying because I think that's just part but, of DNA. But exactly. But now, Passed now down. think about it. I understand what you're saying, but it's not. I wouldn't say it's DNA. I think it's media and culture. Why? Because now there's this girl who no longer says six feet is enough. Right. It's seven feet now. Nah, it's like somebody, cut up. Right. So the standard, which you know, like for example, models should be a certain height or whatever. Right, right, right. Uh, it's like, nah, I'm not satisfied with that. Why? Because you've seen something that's better. How do you know there's something better when you see it? So you're saying... so Okay, so what you're saying is that media is now controlling the way that you view things and now it gives you like this like super fast way of just comparing this this to this. Yeah. So yeah. like, okay, like I got, I got a six for man, but that seven for man looks way better. Yeah. That's what you're saying. And so you're saying like, like it's, just, it's <sighs> bringing certain ideas into okay, you. Okay, time out. Okay, no though. Because we're talking about height though. Height... Like, how attractive is height to a woman? That's what I want to know, because there has to be a gap to that. Like, well, yeah. I, no, in my opinion, I think this girl's is wallet, right? I think that no, but, but, gen, the but normal I, rule for women, I think, general. is... I think the normal rule for women, right? Obviously, I can't speak for women, but this is... But a, what you're, what you're yeah, doing? is a guy who's taller than her in heels. Like, right. that's like the general rule. That's, like, that's what I would think, too. Uh, right? So, I think this is some people who see that, and they're like, how can I one-up it? And I keep going back to that, because it's like, uh, you know... Someone can say, oh, I just want a guy who's successful, mm-hmm. right? But then there's a girl, I want a guy who's successful and X, right? Mm. I just want a guy who respects me. I want a guy who respects me and has money. I want, I just want, you know, like people are yeah, always yeah. looking at that extra one. I mean, look, I, I, I think that like, okay, but this is the thing. Be, before I get into like details, this is the thing though. Okay, so, so like you said, a, a girl generally might be like, okay, I just want a guy to be taller than me when I'm wearing heels, right? You can get into detail on that end because... What kind of heels are we talking about? Because I know for the there's a girl in my office, she's like 5'3. 
I mean, bro, anybody who's like five seven, five, five six, if anything, yeah, I mean, you're still taller than her. The thing is, like, I remember her saying one time, she's like, "Oh, I'm five three, but I wear six inch six inch heels, so I'm five nine. So you automatically become an average size man by wearing that. Mm-hmm. So now you definitely have to just get like, a six footer. But this is where my thing is at, though. We live in modern times. Why is it that a girl can't be like, oh, well, I don't mind being with a shorter man? Like, why is it inclined for you to, like, be like, nah, nah, he has to be taller than me? Like, it's almost like this will or not this will, but like this need to like be um to know that you can be handled. It's like, it's like a woman kind of and this might sound a little crazy, too, but it's, it's almost like a woman kind of in inside of her knows like, oh, I want somebody to like be able to put me in my place. Like if I if it's almost like if like she knows, like oh, if I'm dealing with someone smaller than me, I'm going to fuck him up. Like, I could potentially fuck him up. Like, why would I want to be with somebody who I could potentially fuck up when DNA wise, I guess, like, you know, from time to time. Women are conditioned to be like, yo, the man that you're with needs to protect you, needs to provide for you. But if he's smaller than you, you feel like you dominate him. Mm-hmm. Then that's not where your mind is. I feel like that's where shit gets fucked up. Mm-hmm. I think that that's where that's that where nature part of it. Yeah. Right. Which which if you think about it, though, nowadays, it's like in modern times, it's very unnecessary to think like that in certain ways because. Yeah, but that's the whole idea is like you don't think about it. It just happens. Right. So, for example, right. like I'm telling you, the whole thing of symmetry, why are some people considered attractive? Because they're symmetrical. But you're not thinking they're symmetrical. You're thinking they're attractive. Right. You don't know yeah, why. you don't know why. You, you, just, you just know that they're attractive. I get, I get what you're Right? Saying. So, a lot of that is, is just the way you are wired. Okay, but you... And you, so, then culture complements right, that right. by telling you, all right, now this guy has to also be wealthy to be attractive or has to be charming to be attractive. Right. Or has to be but... But on on the physical plane though, just on the physical plane. But listen to what you just said. Listen, listen to how you could apply logic to that, right? Like you, you apply logic to that right now. So why is it then that when a guy comes out and says, "Nah, but I want a girl with a fat ass. I want a girl with some big titties," it's a problem. Like why is that a problem now? Yeah, nah, that's just because of the way we, uh, the PC culture we live in. That is misogynistic, right? But is that I don't. This is the thing. Okay, let's remove social media because I think that this is the thing that I think we need to also see. Social media has definitely created big differences in our society, right? For sure, that we can discuss. But the truth is also that social media has amplified things. That's all it, like, yeah. like meaning that we have always been this way. Which is it's not just everybody that has voices. It's, it's, it's almost like, now that like, once everybody gets like that Instagram app, we all have taken steroids and we're all like, like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all of this stuff is like steroids to us. Yeah, I mean, it's just making us big. It's just making us more of who we already are. Yeah, no, it just gives you a new platform where you can voice and so now more people can hear what you would already said anyways. R- right, right. But, the, but all, all of this is just, it just makes it bigger. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I un- understand that aspect of it, right? But as as far as like, like so that's what I'm saying, let's move social media real quick. Before time, like before social media, people were still on that tip of like taller guy, this and that. It's always been a thing. Like before social media, before anything, before, e- even you could say culture, but before we weren't so culturally together. Like now, it's easy to connect with another culture because we have airplanes now. Before, people didn't even have boats back then. You get me? Like wherever you are, that's where you're at. You get me? So thinking of that, I understand why you would be like, nah, but I want somebody who's taller, whatever. I need somebody who to protect me, but nowadays you don't necessarily need that though. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't you don't need a tall guy. You don't need um a muscular guy. Just like guys don't need you know, but but point point have it is that like back then it was the same thing. Women were still talking about like, oh, why is my body being objectified? Why is but women have been doing the same thing for years. You judge a guy based off how his hair looks. Oh, he's not balding. He's tall. He has brush. You've been doing the same yeah, thing remember, that we've been doing. The same the thing. The difference is back then they didn't have the ch- option of choice, right? What do you most mean? Most people, like, most cultures had arranged marriages, had, like, a right? lot of that. So, y- women could have thought that. Yeah. They couldn't act on it. Mm. Now they can. Think about it now. The yeah, but guy, how long ago has that been removed, though? Well, remember, you also see... Because that's you see by the, culture. No, but you also see things the very Western, American. Right, very American. That's, that's what but I'm saying. For like, example, a lot of the Eastern world still sure, has arranged marriages. Sure, sure. And I, and I understand that. But how, I would say, and this is me making an assumption, but I would say the majority of the Earth population doesn't have arranged marriages. The majority of them. They I have, would say. Nah, I don't know if I'm nah, wrong. Nah, nah, so you think the, so you think the majority you, you of the world it, has more arranged marriages well, th- than not? Think about the, the population, right? Okay. China, billion people. India, billion people. Okay. So well, that's not arranged marriages in China. No, but they have this sort of like familiar agreements where people will come into understandings like, hey, you know, marry a Chinese man like, or something like, like that. Exactly. That's well, that's cultural say. norms, right? Usually, right. like you don't marry a foreigner. And so you think about like some of the because you remember socially, U.S. is the center of attention. Yes, but 
in like statistics, U.S. is not the center of attention because U.S. compared to the populations of some of these other countries is very small. Right. 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 We have like 325 million people. Something like that. I don't remember how many people we have. 320, I think, bro. More, they were way whatever. More, bro. Whatever. The point is, we don't reach At nowhere near a billion. Okay. Right? And yeah. just those two countries have over a billion people each. Right. Right? And that's only makes up two countries. When you're talking about the rest of Asia, right? The rest of Africa. Mm -hmm. Then you're talking about, like, no, most of the population is not on this side. It's on that side. But, okay. I, and I understand that. But you're saying that the population on that side is more people with arranged marriages than not? No. Is, is what that, what that? I'm saying is, it's a cultural understanding where. Men still have more power than women do. Okay. And so women can feel a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, for example, in most uh, most Muslim countries, men hold authority. For and sure. And that is a big part of the population in those countries, right? Right, right. And, uh, and, and so, in the, like, in India, men still hold authority. I mean, so that's I what think I'm anywhere, saying. though, is, I think is, anywhere, most men, even in America, most men hold authority. Of like, course. Like, but we that, have, we, there's more men billionaires than ever. Like, yeah, like, but, or, or but, there, or but what I'm saying is women get a, a certain freedom here to pick at least the marriages in a sense of like you know i can literally pick i have to okay, pick time later. Time okay so what you're saying is there's more arranged marriages though in the world than there is not that's that's my question yes or no 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 that's what i'm saying but what so i'm th saying is there is a certain culture that kind of limits your choices in most of the world than there is yeah in but, the US. but the limiting choices are like okay so for example like if you're in china your limiting choices are, oh marry someone who's chinese oh. But and has, no, 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 because it has, for example, has passed that little exam that they have to, to go to college, right? And, right, okay. you know, there's, there's a lot of requirements to most people. Or, for example, but that's more of that, but that's more that, that more, that's most, most, mostly to do with parents, though, right? With and culture, like old, with culture. I, I, okay, because remember, when you say old, let's go with you, parents, you, you have so. a tendency to think Americanized. But no, when I think culture, because, because like, what do you mean by culture then? So, you're saying that there's broke dudes in China who have no girls, yes, no, yes, no, yes, let, let me just okay. Time out. No, nope. I just I highly disagree with you right now, bro. Let me tell you something. I don't care where you are, no matter what part of the world. And 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 okay, you know what? Let's let's go this route. What do you consider a broke dude then? Because I have I might have a different definition of what's broke to you than to me. Because what I'm talking about is, for example, in China, and you will know is that the educational success is probably one of the most important things yes, there is. I know that. So they have uh they have this entrance exam, right? If you yeah. fail this entrance exam, you can't go to the like, university. You can't do none of that. Gotcha. So if you're not succeeding there, then highly likely mm -hmm. you're not finding a person yeah. of a viable family because they're saying, why would you want to go for somebody who has, who can't be successful? So you're so you're. But let me ask you this now. L look at that example that you just gave right now. There are families then in China who are poor. Oh, there's a lot of poor. Okay, in so technically, uh, there are families in China who their kids, their parents did not get into college, or university, mm -hmm. right, and they do a trade or whatever. And they're limited with whatever options they got okay. going on. Okay, those families have daughters too. Of course, right? I don't think China's still doing that first son, first daughter well, thing. I, I, I don't know I, what that they was. They do the first, uh, the one child rule. Uh, but they're not doing that no more, are they? Yeah, it's just I don't know how harsh it is. Right. Okay. Play, you know. Now, there are broke girls in these families. Right? There are broke dudes. Of course. These people will come together and mate and be together. But what I'm saying, and this is what I'm trying to get at the whole time, is it's not always, for the most part, in countries like that, mm -hmm. the person say is the family's agreement. Yeah, but that, okay, but that, okay, that's different because now it's no longer, we're not, we're not, I understand what you're getting what at. What I'm getting at is the whole idea of Yeah, like, but you're getting to the, what you're talking about, though, is like, Kids or whatever worrying about what their parents are saying. That's basically what you're doing. No. Yes. No. You are. no. Yes, because it is. Because it's about what the family think, thinks. Because you're thinking American. So you think, oh, it's what the family thinks. No, no, no. In this, in many countries, and I'll tell you because I, I work with people from like Libya and people from mm -hmm. uh, Lebanon. And they tell me like, yo, no, no. Here we discuss, you know, are the families compatible? Can we make this work? It's not like my dad or mom are going to prove. Check this. It's like we're going to. What work. happens if they get married? What happens if the families don't agree and they get married? What happens? They're disowned. No, that's my point exactly. That that's where we get to another conversation because from that point of view, that's not. What, if you get the stone, so what? So that's, that's a, so what? What yeah, happens then? But that's American way of thinking. If you right. get disowned in in their in a culture that is not American, right? What right. are you saying? You lost all right to anything that has to do with your family. You can't right. even speak to them. You can't right. even address them. You can't deal with them. Nothing. I, I understand that, and I completely understand that. But that's what I'm saying. But in reality, who cares? That's really what it comes uh, to. Like, who cares? No, that's because your value system is different. Ex You're exactly. Very, your value system is about you. But it's not. But you have to also understand that I'm not the only one with that value system. There's people in these countries that have the same value. You're there's right. People You're in, right. There's people in China. There's but people everywhere the, who don't give a fuck. But they wouldn't be the majority. No. Okay, sure. So that's what I'm, I'm, sure. I'm pointing at. Wait, at the end though, 
still though, there is still not that many arrangements. It, what I'm trying to get is that most people nowadays in, in 2020, 2019, 2018, most people are picking their partners. Like they pick who they want to marry, regardless of like, bro. Look, you go. You let, let's go with uh, crazy rich agents, right? Crazy rich Asians. What happened to crazy rich? This this kid who's like who is in China comes from a in Hong Kong, right? Comes from a fucking billionaire ass family. Comes to America, mm -hmm. meets a broke ass girl. Wait, she's not Chinese though. She's well, she is Chinese American. No, no, they're not Chinese. Isn't they, aren't they? Uh, they are Chinese. No, where are they from? They're from. They're, Google it. They're not Chinese. No, they're no. like what, Taiwan or something like that. Well, Taiwan is. Okay. Is they Taiwese? Well, no. they're Asian then. They're, 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 Asian. Okay, yeah, they're fine. Asian, but they're not Chinese. Okay, well, yeah. whatever. They're Asian. Because you're not with the being yes. racist. You're yeah. not being racist. You say. Yeah, it might be. That's actually very <laughs> true. Good point. Good point. Oh, they're Asian then. Let's yeah. go with Asian. Okay, so fine. They're Asian. Um, This guy meets his broke um Asian American yeah. girl, whatever. His family's like, nah, bro. We're not having this shit. You know, mom don't like her. Grandma mm -hmm. don't like her. She ain't, you know, about this life. She's an outsider. He says. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm still, I'm still trying to marry this girl. Her, on her side, she's like, "Yo, bro, I don't want you to be beefing with your family." And the what, what, but what's the threat that he's gonna lose all of the family he has to offer? Yeah, like, too. All, like all the money, yeah. all of that stuff, right? Right. And he has the mindset of, "Bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna mm -hmm. marry you." And the family ends up inclining to that, to that room, right? But that's my point exactly, though, because at the end of the day, most people, no matter what the consequences are, most people still have the power to pick. Who they want to marry though, for the most part. That, that that's the thing we're trying to get at. Like most people now in modern day have the power to pick who they want to. Before you didn't have the power to pick. Before your dad took it, your dad or whatever is gonna get somebody. Yo, bro, I'm gonna get you a girl if you're a king or you know we talked mm -hmm. about that. Or I'm gonna get you a guy. And this was this was gonna go down, right? You see it in coming to America, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, Prince Hakeem, his dad's like, yo, bro, you gonna marry Shadi right here? She's been like, she's a little girl trained to like be mm -hmm. with you. He's like, nah, bro, I'm trying to go to America. I'm trying to find X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break out the norm. Because, again, you have the choice. I understand what you're getting at with, like, yo, in America, it's different. People, like, you know, you might be like, but I don't care. Fucking my family don't care about you. Most people do. Again, I understand. But that's kind of, like, removed from another topic. That person still has the choice. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like, before, you didn't have a choice. You get me? And if you did it, then, like you said, you'll be, the song. You'll be like, kicked out. You don't live nowhere. You might not have no money. But you still have the choice. That's my that's my question. So regardless of the consequences, because all of our choices bring consequences, regardless of it, you still have the choice, though. Like, some people didn't have no fucking choice. You get me? So that's what I'm trying to kind of allude to. So, like, when you have the choice now to, like, be like, yo, I want to marry whoever the fuck I want to marry. Now, why is it that we look at it from, from that point of view of, like, okay, well, physically speaking, if you're not tall or you're like, or you're like this, then I don't want to fuck with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, because at this point, like, you know, when you get to deeper things, you start to look at people like Kevin Hart, right? Kevin Hart has um, a wife, Nico, who's like way fucking taller than him, especially way taller than him. Kevin Hart's like 5'3 or something like that, something ridiculous yeah, like she's that. she's like 5'7, right? I have no idea. She's I just know that when she wears heels, she looks ginormous. Way taller, yeah. Like way taller. It's like, it's crazy, right? But like, again, some people might argue, oh, well, yeah, he has money. Of course he's going to get the girl. Completely understand that. You get me? But in, in, in totality, though, what I'm trying to get at is, like, why is it such a big deal when men decide, yo, I want X, Y, and Z, but then when women want the X, Y, and Z, because for women, it's a must. Like, most men might be like, yo, look, most men will be like this. Most men will be like, yo, I want a fat ass, I want some big titties, I want little... That's, like, literally, I want to say 99% of men, you get me? But they will still not necessarily marry that kind mm -hmm. of girl. They will marry a slimmer girl, yeah. a bigger girl. It doesn't matter. You get me? But for girls, it's like a must. It's almost like this must. Like it's like, yo, bro, if you're not here, bro, I'm not even talking to mm -hmm. you. You get me? So that's what I'm trying to get at. Like that, that whole um, like well, that's female a, yeah. uh, double standard that, yeah. that we're getting. I, into well, I think that the thing is that women are more uh, decisive, and I, what do you mean? I think that that split point that you were pointing at is that women hold more true to the convictions than men do. Cause like for they example, they how much of the way to the convictions of what they want in a man, the men doing what they want a woman. Okay. For example, like a, a woman will say, "Yo, this is not six. I'm not looking at him. If this is not seven feet tall. I'm not looking at him." And she might actually mean that. A dude will be like, "Yo, she don't got a this or that," but then Shadi look right anyway. So whatever, he made it work. You get what I'm saying? Like a dude is more prone to give up his convictions about certain styles or types of women than a woman is to about a man. I think, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Because, like, yeah. A, a dude will swing for a three on a given day. 
Where a woman might say, right. yo, I'm never going. Or you talked about it yourself. Or she'll never admit that she went for a three. Right, <laughs> One right. or the other. Right? Right. And I think uh, and, and this, that specific men are definitely more prone to, so, so, so to what, openness. So what you're saying is that women are, they hold tight to what their, whatever their belief, like you said, their beliefs and their convictions are. And men are very uh, floppy and sloppy. I also think that women are... Um, that a lot of times what we understand they mean is not what they mean. I, I had this specific example on Friday, right? I, I found out about somebody, uh, you know, with a relationship. Uh-huh. And then I, I, they told me who the person was. Uh-huh. And I was confused because Buddy wasn't attractive. Yeah. And I've known this person for a long time. This yeah. person always told me uh-huh. that, yo, when I get somebody's going to be like, like fire. Like, gotcha. it's going to be like the most good looking dude you ever met. It's going to gotcha. be X, Y, and Z. Gotcha. And then I'm looking at the dude and I'm like, like that ain't it. Like I'm like, do I know you? Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. The hell is? Like, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't, it ain't you know, it but, true, but then yeah. I realized maybe that's what they meant all along. I just understood it on what I assume a study is. Ah, so, oh, that's another good point. Okay, I, I was gotcha. like, I was like, you know what? So maybe I'm just tripping. Yeah. Maybe they actually meant that all along. I don't. Is that the thing? Is that I don't know if I believe in that though. Because okay, a woman. I feel like women. Like, like, you know, we talked about, um, for the most part, right? Mm-hmm. We could argue this too. They move off of like emotion though. So like a woman might be like, oh, well, you know, I want this, this type of guy. But then here comes this sweet talker. Yeah. Who he, ain't, yeah he bags it. He it. is everything that you didn't. And he, that's what I'm saying. And he bags it. So I, I, was, I think guys switch up their standard based on how under the influence they are <laughs> under certain things. You get what I'm saying? Like, or depending on how, okay, for example, if a guy's like, but he hasn't had sex for a long ass time, he just, he's ready to go. You know what I'm saying? He might go ahead and bag anything. You know I mean? Quick, because he's not trying to put in no work. He, he wants like a one day, yeah. a one sex type of thing. And it's, it's just going to be so he can like clear his head and that's it, right? A, a woman could be the same thing. She could say the same thing. Cool. When the guy is drunk and he's like, you know, under the influence or whatever, he definitely might, you know what I'm saying, change like, might dip like his, his thing. thing might be like, oh, on the regular, I get eights, I get nines, whatever, right? But sh- you fucked up, you might go down to like an average mm. girl, you might go down to a four, you might go down. To- I'm pretty sure Drake's had his share of like, you know, three before he was Drake, yeah. Drake, right? Or like Chris Brown's had his thing before. Well, actually, no, Chris Brown's been around since 16, so probably not Chris Brown, but you get you get what I'm trying to get at. You get me? Like, I'm sure there's a bunch of people who, like, you know, you can't necessarily get what you want at the mm-hmm. time, so you kind of just get what you can, right? So I'm not really sure if I kind of all. Oh, all the way, I kind of, cause I get what you're saying, but I don't know if I all the way agree because part of it is just, I, I just think a lot of it just has to do with like, like you just don't, like you said, you don't think about these things. You get me? You just kind of move yeah. and you live your life, but, but they're all double standards. Like, like you're doing the exact same yeah, thing that we do to you, but, sure. but, the, but the thing is that like, it's never highlighted for women though. That, that's what I'm trying to get. But it's, because it's never highlighted for women. And, it's always highlighted yeah, for and men. And the reason that it's, it's not highlighted it's for fake. women is because, uh, it hasn't been the norm. Right, quote unquote, like it hasn't been the norm in what is publicized, because mm. it's like it's, it's common knowledge that women talk about these things, right? But in right. movies, is the dude, in shows, is the dude, in music, is the dude, and so n- you automatically have association that men do it, gotcha. right? Women don't. So really, it, it just comes down to men have been doing it so long that now that women are doing it, it's like, bro, just let them have it. That's basically what it is. I guess you could argue I, I, that I way. I feel like that's a point, though. It's like, bro, you know what? We've been talking... Like, some guy might be like, you know what? We've been talking so much shit for so many years. <laughs> Let these motherfuckers have that shit, too. Whatever you know they mean? want. Like, yeah, whatever they want. I mean, look. I guess. You know what I mean? Like, to, to, to that degree, I guess. I'm just trying to stand up for the little people out here in these streets. You get what I'm saying? Because... Um, Five four needs love too. Because little people need love too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> little people need love too. And at the end of the day, the the view. Look, everybody has their preferences. Everybody has their thing. Whatever. Um, I just still to this day just don't truly understand what purpose it holds. You get what I'm saying? Like, like what's the purpose of? Because uh, for example, like a guy, right? A guy. I feel like a guy also will feel fucked up if he was dating a girl taller than him. Because he might start feeling a little bit emasculated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's where the ego comes in. Yeah, and it's so, like the whole image, like, you know, she's tall and she's protecting you but or whatever. Why, but that's, that's the whole thing, though. Like, why do we think like that, though? Like, and, and why do we think like that today? Like, so, hey, I love to, to date a girl who's way taller than me. If she's like an MMA fighter or something like that, great. I mean, somebody steps up, go whoop his ass, babe. Go kick yeah, his ass. Yeah, but not everybody's like that. Of course not everybody's like that. And a lot of people care about the image. A lot of people, let's be honest, a lot of people care about the image. So the way aesthetically it looks. Is that the, what, what I'm trying to get down to this root cause here is, 
why? So you think that at the end of the day, it's just image. Like you just think that it, it has no, it has much less to do with what you feel and it has more to do with what other people think about you and yeah. like your relationship. Because like, even if you see it in movies, right? It's always that point at first when the, the person's like, you know, the image matters so much, they break up. Yeah. Eventually, happy ever ending always happens, right? right? But even in movies, there's that tension of, yeah. yo, like... And some people don't have the the personal will to say... I don't care about the tension. I'll overcome it anyways. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'll do what I want. Yeah. For the most part, most people follow trends. And mm -hmm. they'll just succumb to it and be like, yo, this, ain't, this isn't the image that's going to work for me. Gotcha. Like, think about it. How many women do you know? I'll be like, yo, I want to do six feet. And the way I do is like five, four. Yeah. A lot. A lot, yeah. But because at first, their mindset was everybody wants a dude who's taller than them, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, you know, that dude comes, he makes it work, blah, blah, yeah. and it happens. Yeah. But realistically most people have this mindset because yeah. it's cultural it's like image it's what you see all the time it just seems to fit right well look man for all the middle school kids and for <laughs> all the high school kids right now if you're tuned in and you are below what's the average five nine that's the average uh, eight for hispanic right no, no i'm talking about like in general like what's the uh, general i don't remember now people are getting taller you bro. know what i'm not gonna lie before i even get to this i think that we like okay when we talk about averages, I think it matters more locally than it does globally. For sure. You get For what I'm saying? Sure. Like, I want to know what the average is in Miami. Because this is where I live. This is where I'm at. You get me? Or in Florida. You get what I'm saying? Because this is where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm not... I don't live in, like, Asia. You get yeah. me? Or, Maybe you could get the average of the states. I don't think you could average of Florida. Yeah, because, like, if you think about it, like, that's a good point you made. Like, okay, there's a billion people living in, in China, right? Are there a billion Chinese people? Like, a billion Chinese. Yeah. Like, Chinese, China, Chinese. China. China. Or just we'll go, China. We'll fact check, but yeah. Yeah, because I want to know, because like, if you're saying, okay, if there's a billion over there, right? And there is... Like 1.2 in India, I think. Right, okay. Billion. And then there's like, you said, I don't know, hundreds of millions here, like 200 million, or whatever the fucking number is. Then I want to say 325, but I'll fact check. I'll but that offsets us dramatically. Yeah. Because then technically speaking, so I, I guess stereotypically, Indians, Asians are shorter. Well, mm -hmm. in, Asians and Indian, same thing. Asians are shorter people, right? I guess a stereotype, whatever. Statistically, who cares? Whatever. Whatever the number is. They're shorter people. If there's more shorter people over there, that's technically, technically that average doesn't really balance out over yeah. here at all. You know what yeah, I mean? Like if yeah, if you're saying it's 5'8", but you're taking that big old mass or 5'9", mm -hmm. taking a big old... That means that the average height over here has to be like 6 feet tall or something like that then. That's okay, but you can probably get the average uh, if you do a quick In search. In the United States, right? Or the U.S., which is probably like 5'9". Let me see, but let me do this quick search real quick. Okay, Google. What's the average size of a male in the United States? On the website healthline.com, they say the average waist circumference is 40.2 inches and the average height is just over 5 feet 9 inches tall. To find out more... Okay, so 5'9". So essentially 5'9". Okay, so this is going to go real quick to all my guys out there, bro. If you listen to this. And you below five nine. You below five eight. You five failed. Seven. Bro, you it's failed. okay. You is over. You your look at that over. girl. Your life is that's over. That's like your life is five, over. Five six. And you like you know you like right there with her, or you a little bit shorter. You go for them legs, bro. When y'all yeah, you know you're in high school or middle school, and you playing like uh flag football and all that stuff. You know that's where you kind of get your flirtation going. Don't pull that flag, my guy. Go for the legs. You know what Tackle I'm saying? Tackle her? Yes. <laughs> drive a message. You know so what I'm saying? Talking about he, yeah. Drive a message that when we're both on the ground, when we're, we're both equals. laying down together, we are the same size. It doesn't <laughs> matter. We're both down. You know what I'm saying? So you're promoting Send violence a for no, equality. I'm not for no, equality. I'm not saying tackle her hard. Tackle her soft because this is equality anyways. You get violence me? So, for equality. Actually, you know what? You're right. We're talking about equality. Just tackle her like you don't normally tackle anybody. Fuck it. Violence for equality. It's no, a not new violence movement. for equality. Equality. If a girl decides, y'all want to go play ball why should i take it easy on you why should i not back you up and give you this post game and dunk it on your ass why should i not give you this nasty cross and then shoot and put you on the floor that's it why not yes i'm not listen but if you decided to get on that football field because you wanted to play with the boys get ready to play with the boys okay we're talking about equality here chris we're not gonna exempt anybody from being equal you know what i'm saying so if we're playing any sport everybody get in the work yes look in mma the minute and by the way because, you know, we're not living in this world where we're freely to express ourselves. And if I'm feeling like a woman, I can be like, hey, UFC, I don't want to fight in the men's thing division because I feel like I'm a woman today. So I'm going to fight for it. And that's happened, by the way. There is a, f a male who fights in the female division who's fucking up women. I'm talking about for real? fucking. Joe Rogan was talking about this. But I'm talking about like 
cr- bro, cracking skulls. Like no, no bullshit. And um, I mean, I'm not even going to deal with the story. The story is basically like n- they didn't know that you know it was a transgender person. You know, it was in in the sport, fucking people up. That's basically how okay, it comes but down. but it's transgender, like physically. Yeah, like physically, okay. um, I guess um, the person looks like a woman. But they didn't but do the research. Really they didn't do the research to find out that it was a I, I uh, guess born a male. Right. Okay. That, ba- basically that makes more down. sense. I was like, wait, there yeah. has to be a law about yeah. an- anatomy and discrepancies. Well, you know, again, the world that we live in is a little different. No, but no, but remember, a lot of it, because uh, someone could sue. I think about it. If you yeah. beat me under the premise that you are a woman, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, you end up being a man. I could sue you and I could sue you UFC. Could, but I mean, so there has to be something that, that worked out. But then out again, there. not really, because by the law, you can change your gender nowadays. That's what I'm saying. But so there has to be. Do? But the USC has to be something where it limits. It, ha- it has to be, bro. Y- you know why? Mm-hmm. You, you know why they probably have nothing mm-hmm. even written in their bylaws about any of that. But you watching suits, so you know about bylaws. <laughs> Is probably because this is something that's kind of new, anyways. Yeah, I man. This is something yeah, that's very introductory to sports. And I mean, I don't know what their thing is. No, no, I, mean, I don't know. But I would assume, right? I would assume not to step in. I would assume that uh, you have something stipulating that you oh. know you define gender on X or Y, and not in like a trend or a, a social time because there has to be. Probably not. Example, they probably just have the. Mind you, UFC started off as a male, um, obviously a male sport yeah. or whatever. Right? It's only males coming in. Then they opened up for female mm-hmm. divisions in certain weight classes and they build up those weight classes. So I don't think they have a, okay, this is what we consider a male, this is what we consider female. I think it's just, yo, you're a girl, you're a guy. That's it. Like, it's that simple because I think that this modern day, like back back then, you didn't probably have the kind of technology to like yeah. the, to mm-hmm. the to this extent. You get what I'm saying? So I don't necessarily think that that's always going to be the case. You get me? Like, for example, there, I know that there's um women football game, but it's kind of like a, this bikini. I don't know. This this is like a male. I've seen a they, yeah, they football wear, like games. shoulder pads, but nothing crazy. Yeah, but like they got like, a yeah. tiny. I don't. This is like a male created game. But I mean, okay, if you're playing in that league, right? Let's say the, the, that league you get paid, you get six figures, whatever the fuck it is. You just just. I mean, this is a movie about this Joanna man. You get me? Where you have um. Uh, Arsenio Hall, he's a male who I think he couldn't cut in the NBA, so he dresses up in drag and ends up playing in the WNBA. He's fucking everybody up, like he's balling everybody up. You get me? Like there, there, there's there, there is no real standard to it. It's not like nobody's checking you, like yo, let me see if you got balls. If you're nobody's doing that. You, like, you got a job, yeah. you got to uh, apply for a job. You put female, you walk in there. The interview is not being like yo, let me see if you're really a yeah, male. Of let me see. You get me? Like it's so it, it's. Maybe like later on that might change, but the times that we're living, I mean, stuff's gonna have to adapt. But I think that technology is just way ahead of us. Like if you realize, just business has to catch up to technology, law has to catch up to technology. It's just a time is way too fast for shit to catch up. Like the process of creating something like a bylaw, uh, any law, passing a law, you know. But to create a law is like the most fucking hardest thing in the world. You know I mean? It has to go through this, 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 approved by this, this, this. You know what I mean? It's, and technology just boo-boo-boo. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's, the technology doesn't ask for waiting. You know what I mean? Like we already have AI coming out. Yeah. All that shit. You know what I mean? That, come on, bro. Like, so, uh, to that degree, not really, bro. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm trying to do is just encourage the shorter guys out there. Don't let these tweets. A girl w- talking about six feet. That girl like five feet, bro. You got that. You like five, three. You got that, bro. <laughs> Don't let nobody discourage you from getting these girls. If a girl's... But listen, bro. I've always said this, too. If somebody teases you about something, make more of that shit. Like, if... if Celebrate somebody, it. Like, bro, if somebody's like, bro, what's up with you in these t-shirts? You always wearing these t-shirts. Start wearing more of those t-shirts. Bro, don't ever take out that black t-shirt. First wear two black I'm t-shirts. All I'm ever going to wear is black. Yeah, but you get what I'm saying? <laughs> wear two black t-shirts. As a matter of fact, take a black t-shirt, put it in your back pocket. So you just, have an extra I mean, black just t-shirt. Just in case this one looks exactly. like Christmas. Exactly. So that, out. so the haters could be like, oh, this girl doesn't remember. Yeah, that's right. I got one in my back pocket. I got one in the trunk. I got one in the front seat. What you want to do? You want one black? I got that's you. What yeah, I'm have a black seat for that's you what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So don't let these streets discourage you, man. That's my record speed of the week, bro. That was pretty long. Let's go to you, bro. Let's go to you. What you got? I think you nailed it, bro. I think that's yeah. like a long episode of why women are liars. Mm. <laughs> they don't actually want seven feet. Uh, let me ask you this now. What do you think of this? 21 Savage tweeted, um, let me get the tweet so I could like phrase it correctly. This is actually very interesting too. Let's see. Where is it out here? Bam, bam, bam. The marquee. Okay. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, it's not this one. Don't say talking. 
Okay, I didn't save it. So basically, he goes. Um, he he. His tweet was around this. He said, "Women don't build." He said, "Women will find a rich man, and he will change her whole life, but a rich woman doesn't won't even pay attention to a broke man." What are your thoughts on that? But women don't build what? Yeah, well, he's saying women don't build up. Like they don't build up men. Like for example, a guy, right? You have money. You know, you can take a girl. She could be broke. She could be. It don't matter. But you, uh, okay, let's let's take a broke girl in, the, in this case, right? For for lack of context, let's say you're a rich guy, you got a girl that she's broke, you elevate her, you build her up to something different, right? You could put her on a different game, mm-hmm. you could be like, hey, well, look, man, you should do this with your money, I can help you start this business, um, you know, come live with me, um, I put you on designer this, this kind of food, this kind of trip, this kind of life is just different. Mm-hmm. But they're saying a woman won't build up a man like that for the most part. Or he's saying he, he said it in general, right? But I'm guessing you know f- from his point for the most part, because a rich woman wouldn't even look at a broke man. Like bro, you broke. Good man, let's just be honest. Look, broke girls don't even look at broke guys. You get me? So if you're rich, you're, <laughs> you're definitely, definitely not, not looking, looking at a broke, broke guy. You get me? So, so that's essentially what he's trying to say. Like women don't build. So I mean, I guess like you know through even like we can take this down through history, but whatever. I just want to know your thoughts on that. What do you think about that? I don't know. I I think I could understand why women wouldn't do, wouldn't want to do that because it'll be harder for a woman to be balling than it is for a man to be balling, mm-hmm. right? It is still a men's world, so I think that she understands like you know it, for the most part, most people are most women are, if they are self built, right? The assumption here, I'm assuming based on the tweet, or what you well, explained, she's rich, but she's self built, right? Self made, okay. Self made, right? Okay. Uh, She's like, yo, I went through all hell and back. I'm not trying to bring somebody up. I'm trying to find somebody who's here or at a higher level. Yeah, but level. most men are like that, too. You came from nothing. Yeah. You build yourself up, and then but yeah, you but will do it, though. But for example, um, but if you're rich, like born rich, you tend to just marry rich because that's who you hang out around with, right? Right. Uh, and then there's just the men that have, like, they'll find somebody who, whatever, for whatever reason, they're like... Well, I mean, I don't think it's mostly like that. I mean, like... Think about it. You're an NBA player. You're broke as fuck. And you've been with your college sweetheart, your high school sweetheart. And then you make money. And then you, yeah, make, but you then just happen to get rich. I mean, you end I, up with the girl you've been with this whole time. Yeah, I mean, but... Not necessarily. I, th- I think... Okay, look. Think about it. Let's say you're a rich guy, right? You go to the club. You see a pretty ass girl. There's plenty of beautiful... I'm talking about beautiful, beautiful, beautiful broke ass girls. You get me? You go to the club. You see a girl. Fashion over dress on. Or... What are the girls wearing? Uh... I made a comment about it. Pretty little things or something like that. Pretty little liar. Some shit like that. I don't know. It's another clothing thing. Whatever. She got that dress on. You don't even know what the fuck it is. You're just looking at her and you already know like, damn, fat ass. You look at that shit that you care about. You don't care about her clothes mm-hmm. like that, right? You might approach her and you might get her from the club and you find love in the club. You get me? And you married this girl and now you took this girl from Alapata Projects or Alapata uh, Condominiums or Alapata Crib to like, you know, living in downtown, midtown, penthouse, mm-hmm. whatever. You get me? A man will do that. Man doesn't look at a woman and be like, "Oh, you." Because I talked about this before. A man would. We're, we're so um, physical for the most part. You know, we see somebody who's beautiful, somebody who's pretty, and we're just attracted. We want to talk to them. We want to, mm-hmm. you know, whatever the case may be, or whatever his intentions are. But we're not really like, "Yo, bro, you gotta be bossed up." You got, you know, what I'm saying. I, I've hear more guys talk like that nowadays. Like, you know, they want their girl to have their mm-hmm. own shit because it does make sense for a man to also yeah. think like that. But I think normally it's not really thought of like that. I think, you know, you just meet yeah, somebody and... I think a lot of it is still like the lingering idea that men provide for women, women shouldn't provide for men. I think that that still has a role in, in the way we look at life because you also ac- find it more accepting when a dude finds a girl who has nothing and he just, you know, gives her the world mm-hmm. versus when a girl that finds something, and it's also more of a common story too, right. versus a girl that f- has everything and gives some random dude. For uh, sure. Well, I mean, so I, I think it's just the fact yeah. that it's a lingering, you know, and it's also the fact that you, you just said it now, there's more men billionaires now than ever, right? There's still more men in the top, in like 100. I'm pretty sure there's women. more male wealth than there is female. Exactly. Sure. And so because of that, it, it's just that the propensity that were to happen is more likely. Right. Um, as far as like, you know, if a person came from nothing, I would think that they would, a woman would understand that it's harder for her probably than it is for a man to come from nothing. So she would want somebody who has something. Whereas because she'll be like, you know what? I worked too hard for this. Yeah, but men, but this is, that's exactly what it is, though. So then there is 
Okay, if you're a woman, right? So let's say what you're saying is true, right? Let's say that a woman, she's self-made. She has to deal with the struggles of this is a man's world. And she makes it. Now, she's a millionaire, right? Let's say she's a millionaire. Um, You're saying that she was look at a bro guy like, no, nah, I don't want to deal with having to try to build you up. You get me? I don't want to have that thought in my head. Because I've already killed myself to build me up. Right, but now... Guys are in this exact same playing field because now you because you're actually making it sound like money just giving the niggas no like no. to guys like yo, no, yo here you go is, motherfuckers just get what money. What I'm saying is dudes with success and you said it yourself is like physical for men is more important than for women. Like for example, a man a woman can go and get picked up from a club with a twenty dollar dress. Mm -hmm. Men are not gonna like pop out if. They well, men will almost never get picked up in the club. Exactly, yeah. but what I'm saying, but men are not gonna pop out in a club, for example, if he's not the one buying the drinks, if he's not the one. So there is a, a certain like play in roles that we still give ourselves so, as a society. So you will say then you agree then with that women don't build them. No, what I'm saying is I understand why his reasoning is. I don't know any rich women, so I don't know if they build or not. But uh, okay, so but, like okay, I understand the so reasoning. Yeah. You get me? So I understand why he would say it. Mm -hmm. I can't agree with it because I don't know rich women. I just I've seen more of the story happen with men because there's more rich men. Yeah. So the probability is higher that it's happening with men than mm -hmm. it is with women because well, I mean, rich okay. men. Let, let, let's go this route then. How many people do you know have a girlfriend? The girlfriend makes more money than the guy, and the and, and not 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 in this sense, but the guy's considered broke. Like broke, broke. Like, but no, broke. Okay, for example. Broke compared to her. I, I, exactly. That, that, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Broke compared to her. That, that's exactly what I'm trying to get at. Because, uh, for example, okay, a guy making $50,000 a year, right? To a girl who makes $20,000 a year. He's rich. He, he's a baller. He, he's not rich, but you can understand. She yeah. might be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we get together. Now, a girl making six figures and you're making 50000 she might be like, eh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, eh, I don't know. if she's making 300000 and he's making 50000 she yeah. might be like, nah, bro, you're not at my level. Mm -hmm. But men don't think like that, though. No, because men don't think, oh, you're not at my level. Because, I'm telling you, a lot, uh, because a lot is still your gender roles of idea, like a man should always provide for the women. So, 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 so it makes it easier for a man to overcome the fact that she doesn't make as much as him mm -hmm. because in, in society for them, historically, men have always had more than the women. So then you do agree that women don't build them. No, I, I you, understand everything it. you're Listen, everything you're saying is literally writing down women don't build them. No, yes. no, because what I'm saying is I understand why men are more prone to do it. You're being, you're being, em you're having empathy for the women right now. Because, you are. No, no, no. For me and to that's, say, that's why you won't say it all the way. No, no, no. For me to say women don't build would require me to see women in action doing or not doing. So you're saying and, you haven't seen And it. I haven't seen that. Because, like, for example, the people that I know around me all make relatively the same. Okay. All right, let's say, for example, look, you, you meet a girl that makes 10 grand more than you. Realistically, that's not a significant difference no, in income. Hell. So yeah. I know people who make that kind of difference, 10, 20, which is yeah, still not significant. So at that point, you're still matter. in the same level. I've never seen, like, like in my life, right? I'm talking about, like, people that I know. We're like, yo, this person makes... 100k plus mm -hmm. this person makes 50 and they're working it out no because they don't even hang out in the same ballpark is what i'm trying to get at so that's why for me it's like the, it's hard to understand that because like the interactions i haven't seen them okay but you now reasoning i can see why it would happen with men because men they are overcome by physique first right mm -hmm. if she's pretty they'll let, let a lot of things go women are too yeah and and the second of all is because men are prone to think you know what it's supposed to be this way anyways you know the, okay this is the thing to, to, to cap you there men usually not all men men usually get capped off on looks like looks and that's mm -hmm. you capped off on mm -hmm. looks you get me we like that's that's it a woman is like looks cool you pass the like the minimum, prerequisite yeah now let's see like what else you got so that I can actually be like, okay, yeah, yeah I can be with you. You get me? That, that's usually how it goes. But but everything that you're saying though, you like you just said, okay, like you've never seen a woman take a guy, mm -hmm. right, that's broke and like be with him and build him up. Like you've never seen that. So therefore you do agree then with the statement that women don't build. No, because Because you haven't wit yes, because and, and, you and haven't that's witnessed what, and, and at the beginning. Yeah, I because I haven't witnessed this, I mean that's I what accept saying, you're it. having empathy for the no, women because you don't want to just say no, they don't build. Now let me give you another point is he's build he's talking about building financially, right? I mean, I was Because say, you hear all these yeah, NBA players, all these NBA players say, Yo, this girl was with me when I had nothing. For sure. So that means 
they were building with them. Yeah, but you know, okay. But the thing is this, though. We all know that f- finances come first before you build anything else because I've said this before here, too. Until you have money, right? And I don't, I'm, when I say money, I mean financial freedom, right? To not have to worry about, oh, I have to pay X, Y, and Z. Then you can focus on improving other things in your life much easier than when you don't have the financial freedom. Because instead of you worrying about your mental health, you're like, shit, I can't afford to go to therapy. I can't afford to go to a, a, a what's it, a deprivation tank. I can't afford to go to X, Y, and Z. I need to pay, I need to pay the mortgage. I need to pay the kids this. I need to pay, you get me? So, for the fina- the financial freedom is the first step into ever building almost anything. You get me? This is not always the case, but it's mostly the case. Financial freedom is the very first thing. Like if you can surpass financial freedom, be become financially free, everything else you can accomplish. You get me? And and can you know mm-hmm. it, it can conduce to you. Now I understand there's cases where like yo these rappers who already have the quote unquote financial freedom but they're still out there wilding now a woman comes and changes their whole game right mm-hmm. like you know oh the like Gucci Mane's a perfect example you know yo if it wasn't for this girl mm-hmm. I would even be X Y and Z she's helped me build me up to like where it is today mm-hmm. right uh somebody told him um Kevin Gates is like oh Kevin Gates girls too he talks yeah, about his girl the same thing like um Kevin Gates like they ask him like, oh so your girl holds it down he's like no my girl doesn't hold me down she builds me up mm-hmm. right which is like a very powerful thing because you know street slang is like yeah. oh she holds me down C- correct so I understand that part you get me but again we are looking at a man who has the money and now the girl could come in and and supply that yo let me build you up because you know I have X Y mm-hmm. and Z charisma so that point I agree. So I would say that yes, I'm assuming that Twenty One Savage is probably talking about financially, financially, which is one of the hardest things to overcome because mm-hmm. most, again, most of the population is gonna be broke forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like we already know, it's like the majority of people mm-hmm. are gonna stay broke. You get me? Because you're gonna be running on this little mm-hmm. wheel. You get me? And that's exactly why, you know, depending on certain families and whatever, you might have different values, different you know things that that you hold. But I guess in this case, yes, it would be when it comes down to money. Because I think that when it comes to building, though, it goes both ways anyways. Like, you will build up your girl just like your girl will build mm-hmm. you up. The thing is that, like, we look at Gucci Mane and Kevin Gates like, yo, these are wild guys. And they had girls to tame them. Yep. But we don't know what Keisha was on. We don't know what, um I, don't, I forgot what Kevin Gates' girl's name is. Uh, Drea. We don't know what Drea was on. Like, maybe they're good people. Maybe they were fucked up, too. And Gucci helped her through. Yeah. So I don't fucking know. You get me? But I think that that role get, gets played in both ends anyways. You know what I mean? Because when you're in a relationship, you're growing together. If you don't grow together, you're going to grow apart. That's all mm-hmm. there's always going to be. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have to grow together in a relationship. Because think about it. You get married at whatever fucking age. 25. Let's go 25, right? So you get married at 25. When you're 30, you're not thinking like you were thinking no, at 25. of course not. You shouldn't, at least. You shouldn't. But let's say if you're, if you're 25, you get married. Now, your girl, now you're both 30. Your girl's thinking at 30. Mm-hmm. And really, girls are probably thinking ahead anyway. So your, your girl's 30, but she's thinking like 35. You're 30, and you're still thinking like 25. You're already in the gap yeah. right there, my friend. You know I mean? You're already in the big gap. And it's going to get bigger and bigger. <clears throat> and and bigger. if you don't catch up, yeah. then you're going to fall apart. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? And that's in anything, any relationship, anything. You know what I mean? So those two people build you up. I, I guess in this case, though, financially speaking, that's another thing, though. You don't really see that. And because you don't really see that, you haven't experienced that, you haven't seen that then you are basically saying that you kind of agree with 21 where it comes. No, women don't build in that scenario. And again... Did he catch flack for this? Like, got, there was people tripping I have no idea. I just saw this today. I just uh, saw like, yeah, I just saw this uh, today as a tweet. I didn't really dig into it. Then let me tell them, the internet's just dumb. You know I mean? so, uh, of course you're going to catch flack for that. There's going to be women yeah. who are like, yo, bro. How dare you say I've it? I've been balling forever. My dude's been... Bro- like, I've heard all those cases. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I understand that. But I'm just saying, what, like you said, I haven't heard it. And that's true. I haven't heard it either. Yeah, like, the probability of it happening is very. So therefore, I can I kind of have to. I cannot disagree because, the, like I'm trying to say, you don't want to say, oh yeah, shoot, women don't build because that's that's not how you speak. You get me? Me on the other hand, be like, yeah, you're actually right. Women don't build because because that's how I speak. You're showing empathy. You get me? Like like put it like this. Think about it like think about it like this. The, all the women in your life, right? Girlfriend, mom, friends, all of that shit. Do any of them think you're an asshole? Yeah. Okay. How many of them think you're an asshole? Mm, probably no. most of them except my mom. Okay. So your girlfriend and all your girlfriends and your coworkers, they think you're an asshole except for your mom, right? Probably. No, it's probably or yes. No, no tell me what you know for no, no, sure. No, no, I know my mom you, doesn't don't tell think me probably. Yeah. I know my mom doesn't think that, 
And I think my coworkers think I'm really nice because I don't really talk to my coworkers, you know? Okay. But uh, I think the people who know me will say I'm a jerk. But the, so their experience with you is that you're a jerk. So it's a negative experience then. No, it's a positive experience, but they mean it, I'm a jerk towards it can people. Be, it can be a positive yeah, experience. It no, it's no, like, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. That's not, not, I'm not saying they think you're a jerk to other people. How are you to them? Oh, that's no, what I'm, I'm saying. I'm good to them for the most part. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, so, uh, okay. So their experience with you is a positive one. Yeah. Yes? Okay. But that's what I'm saying. Why do you think that is? Like, so what, what? What would you say the word that they would use then? Sweet, nice, yeah, kind. Cool. What, what is he's it? He's cool. I'll say he's cool. Nah, cause cool's too broad. Give me something that. Know, but can, oh, he's cool. Like, yo, that's what we use when we when we're gonna introduce a new homeboy yeah, to yeah, each other. Chilling. Yeah, he's, he's cool, bro. Don't worry about it. he's chilling. Nah, nah bro. G- give me a word. What what I a word know, that bro. you I don't think know people think about me? You don't know. Right, what do you think people think about you? Like? like like at least the people that you know are like okay, yeah. That he's I'm chilling. That I don't trip. <laughs> You're using too many guy words. I, I, need, I need a good <laughs> word. Is, yeah, you're using too many guys. Like, yo, because that's some shit that I would say. Like, oh, no, he's chill, but cool ass dude, vibe, you know. That's, that's what I would say. Uh, girls mean, are not talking like that. Right girls that. are like, right, you really so think when girls talk to you? How do you think a girl would describe me then? You that's said I'm, it for me. I don't know. That's what I'm asking I, you. I don't know. Because I don't, I don't asking girls. But so you don't have an idea what you think girls would think about. Because yeah. you said you think that their experience with you is positive. Yeah. So if you think that you have to have some type of like, well, bro, they, they clearly have an interest to stick around. So that's what I presume that they have a positive experience. Uh, I don't know. Okay, man. Maybe they think, I would say maybe they think you're nice. Yeah. You think okay. you're nice? Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's, let's say they, they think you're okay. nice. Right? On my end, for sure, every female in my life thinks I'm an asshole. <laughs> for sure. Let me tell you something. I will never forget this day in my life. My own mama, <laughs> my own mama told me, bruh, the reason why girls think you're a fuck boy or whatever is because of the way that you look, like the way that you walk, the way that you are. Like, you look like the nigga who just think he's the shit, right? I can't help, my own mom told me that, so that's how I know. Yo, you, first of all, your, mom, mom your mom's a wise woman. A, well, first of all, look, every girl in my life, whether friend, not friend, acquaintance, knows, like, or well, not knows, but they think, oh, but that nigga's an asshole. For my guy friends, I don't really think I don't I don't know I don't I don't ask you motherfuckers what y'all think. But y'all have never to, y'all have never told me, bro. You kind of an ass. You get me? Because I don't think that's like a guy. Yeah, like actually no, it is. It actually really? Is. Yeah, it definitely is a guy thing to say for sure, for sure. Because I've seen people tell like your brother, bro, you're an ass. Like I've seen Lewis tell, bro, you're an ass, you're a jerk or whatever. So I, I guess it does happen, but. Whatever, like, uh, whatever. I don't even know the fuck I was going with this now. What was I saying, bro? What was I trying you to bring this You were trying in? to bring to the whole idea of, like, how I could understand uh, building and disagreeing with building, but not agreeing with building and showing empathy to building. Bro, what? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Hold up, bro. I was, you were I, saying, I was on something. You were saying that because I have empathy, I don't completely agree with the whole statement that women... Right, right, right. There we go. There we go. Okay, right. So because, because this is the thing. Women will look at you and be like, oh, he's a nice guy. He's a sweet guy. Whatever. So on, so on the looks, I could understand why you are speaking the way you're speaking. As I'm saying, like, because we're talking about language, is women are already drawn to you in that sense. Like, oh, this guy is a nice guy, he's a sweet guy. So the reason why you cannot say straight up, yeah, women ain't building out here, is because of the characteristics that you have. But in, in essence, I'm just letting you know. In essence, what you're saying is you're agreeing with me. You're no, agreeing with 21. No. What I'm saying yes, is I have been seen it. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That's exactly but, what yeah. I'm saying. You got me sweating in this goddamn room and <laughs> shit. It's cold in here. That's like, no, cold? Yeah, yeah, bro. I got the AC coming straight at me. Bro. But uh, yeah, what I'm saying, let my own words go on record that I haven't seen it, but doesn't mean it doesn't okay, happen. Let's do, all right, let's do this then. From your experiences, right? It, maybe I'm phrasing this question a little biased. So you. You answer in the best way that you can. I'm definitely going to phrase this shit a little biased. In your experience, in your 25 years, have you seen a woman financially build up a man? Mm. Like how men financially build up women? Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Not, not, not to the, like... Not to the... Because men, men will, like, go from, like, a woman that has zero, and they may have millions, and they'll go that. Mm-hmm. But I've seen, like, women who have, you know, more money than a man, not a significant amount of men, but, you know, bring them out to another level of success. That oh. I have seen. How? So like, tell me about that Like, story. for example, you look at, at some of these athletes, like, like Venus Williams and mm-hmm. her husband or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, these are athletes that make 
bank. Yeah, right, right. Right? Mm-hmm. And so their their husbands don't make as much as them, but they're at that level now because as togetherness, right? The idea. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't... But you haven't but seen them like, actually... Okay, yeah. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example right now. It's Floyd Mayweather, right? Floyd Mayweather talks about all three of his baby mamas. All three of his baby mamas, he, you know, Floyd Mayweather loves to like mm-hmm. brag, right? He's like, all three of them, they drive Rolls Royces. They have they live in mansions. They um they have businesses, and I've put this together for them. And obviously he's not in child support, mm-hmm. so the reason why he does it is like yo this down the third, he's giving them a big place, a big boy car, uh businesses mm-hmm. like you know yo do this in your business market like this and you know bring people in. That's what I mean by building up. You get what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> in your case you're saying someone like Venus or whatever whatever right? They get married with a guy who ain't like you said they their money ain't the same. You're saying that they become one though because they're married. No, yeah. I'm talking about like in like, the scenario like, like, where like building a project. Like, where a, have you seen where a woman's like, "Yo, bro, look, man, I have this savvy. Let me put you onto this so you can do this." That's what I'm saying. I'm not because I agree with you too. Like, yes, there probably is plenty of stories. I just haven't heard them. Yeah, either. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I personally don't can't think of like it's easier when you think of a man. Like, for example, with ball players are probably the easiest example, right? Because uh, for the most part, like uh, I think give you one that it's easy to understand is Russell, right? Russell and his wife, uh, yeah, his wife was a baller too, mm. right? And then no, now they have kids, but now his wife has like her own brand for like like baby clothing, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Russell has his own clothing brand, but Ru- but you, most people don't know. I think her, her name is Nina Westbrook, yeah. right? Most people know Russ, of course. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Kobe and Vanessa, mm-hmm. right? Most people don't know Vanessa Bryant from anything aside of the fact that she's Kobe's wife, right? She has her own stuff going on, but it's not mm-hmm. the same. Uh, uh, Lala and Melo, mm-hmm. she's successful, but he didn't build her up and she didn't build him up. They just kind of rose. That 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 might be one of those examples of like, yeah, for sure. Like you, you can't say Melo elevated Lala. Yeah, and, and that's or maybe I mean, like, or maybe maybe he did or, or maybe like because like it's so hard because you know. Most yeah, and I and I understand. Like, well, no, nah, I wouldn't say Lala because man, Lala's been in the radio for like. That's very what long I'm saying. Like, Lala rose on her own, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Melo rose on his own, and then it just kind of happened. It's like it would be, yeah. like, it would be like saying that Jay lifted Beyonce, Beyonce lifted Jay. Like no, <laughs> they were fine on their own. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, or the same thing with Kanye and Kim. Like it, for the most part, it's just that a woman that's been so successful. I I just find it difficult her like lowering her her standard for somebody who's I not. Th- th- where th- men are more prone because of the physical aspect. Right, but that but that that that's the whole thing though. I think the point that Twenty One Savage was trying to make here in general is that like. Yo, women will not go down or below, right? Like at, at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they they're gonna just like move forward. I think that like, it, it's like a uh, Lil Duval tweeted this a while back. He said he he put two versions of being broke, right? He said women's version of being broke, men's version of being broke. Women's version of being broke is um I forgot what the tweet was. He said something like women's version of being broke is like well shit now I gotta like uh. Like, I could find the sugar daddy, or I could, like, you know, do... Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what the fuck it was. Like, I, I forgot what the direction was, like, the, the, exactly what he said, but you kind of get where I'm getting at, right? Like, it's basically saying, like, women's plan B is always going to be the man. You, get me? you can always just get a man, and you'll be all right, mm-hmm. in a sense. Men's plan B, like, or men's, like, the difference of being broke is, like, well, shit, I'm getting evicted tomorrow. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because... A ma- for the most part, a man does not have the plan B of like. Because again, I said this before. We spoke about this before. With I spoke about this with girls, and girls have agreed with me. You get me? Whereas like, you can go ahead, be as independent as you want to be. You don't need a man for nothing. Go out of there, take your chances, whatever. You get me? Do all that you can. You get me? And if you fail, but you- if you fail, you can always be like, all right, you know what? Let me swallow my pride. Fuck it. I'll just get a man. A man can never do that. He'll yeah. go out there, he'll fail, he'll fail, he'll fail, and what's gonna end up happening if he never succeeds is that he'll just wither off and be a failure. You get me? Like that's it. Like is you're not gonna like be a, like, oh, well, a girl I'm to go. get you out of your. You're not gonna go and be like, oh, now let me go look for a girl. You get me? Like it's, that's gonna be very, very difficult to do. You get me? So well, I don't know, bro. I'm trying to get a sugar mama, so I'm yeah. hoping it's real. That's yeah, I'm but you're a pretty it boy. It's different. But I hope it works, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like you have pretty people privilege. It's different. Like, it's different when you're talking to like um. People with real pretty people privilege, you guys have a you upper hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause, cause, like I always say, like man, for you to be considered, I think my opinion, for you to be considered um a pretty boy, or I, I think you just need to come with a full, po- a full modern day package. So you saying I'm the, I'm the full package? Absolutely, I think that you have a full modern day package. I don't, you know, I don't think that 
Like, you can be, like, a pretty boy and you're missing things. You get what I'm saying? Like, think about this. Uh, Liam Hemsworth, right? If he really did turn into Thor that we saw from Endgame, like, that he was fat and all depressed, mm -hmm. he's not a pretty boy no yeah, more. Yeah, he lost. He lost, he, he, lost, he lost a pretty boy thing. You get me? But now, when we look at Thor from uh, Ragnarok, who's, like, you know, in the pool with Hulk, that's a fucking... That's a beautiful man. You get me? However you want to say it. That's no longer a pretty that's boy. That's that Chris Evans level. Yeah, that's like up there. You get yeah. me? You're Captain America level. So it's it, it's it's this whole... like Think about it like this. Even um, even like you take somebody like like Chris Evans, right? Chris Evans, when he was um the the, the fire guy from Fantastic Four. Uh, fl uh Flame. Fl right. Flame uh, on. Whatever. Yeah. You know what exactly uh, I'm talking about. Human Torch. <coughs> Human Torch. He didn't look at the level that he looked when he was Captain America, but he still had like a decent, you know what I'm saying? Stud. Still an actor. Yeah. I'm sure getting some type of money. You get what I'm saying? Like, you you, you understand that. Michael B. Jordan turned into a full out pretty boy. Michael B. Jordan first started at Fruitvale Station. Yeah. Real skinny dude uh, with the braids. Yeah, he was a good looking dude, but he was nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely nothing what well, Creed yeah. and uh, being, um, what was his character in, in uh, Black Panther? I forgot his name. Uh, T'Challa. No, no, no. T'Challa oh, is Chadwick yeah, Boseman. Yeah, nah, T'Challa's cousin. What's his name? Uh, uh, Brian B. Jordan's character. Yeah, yeah. I forgot his cousin's name. Killmonger. Or when he was Killmonger, yeah, that's yeah, what... Eric, right? Eric, yeah. Eric, Eric. There we go. But, you know, his... I guess his... Yeah, uh, Killmonger is... Is his whatever. Enemy, alias yeah. or whatever. So, I mean, like, you know, these guys... trans Again, Michael B. Jordan, bro. Come in to Creed. Big swole guy. You get me? Nicki Minaj out here talking about, oh, I, I like this dress, yada, yada, yada. Michael B. Jordan's going to help me take it out tonight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, come on, bro. Like, you got yeah, girls levels throwing it up. Yeah, levels Michael B. Jordan, successful actor, pretty boy, super ribbed, got the money now. For sure he got the money now. You know what I mean? So, like, I mean, you know, when you when you start, I, I think that that just comes into a full package. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So Yeah, but I'm broke. Who? Me? You're not broke. I'm you just broke. took a vacation. I'm broke. You look, Think about it like this. I'm going to put you out there. You go out and get your ten dollar coffees all the time. You get what I'm saying? You you dress the way that you want to dress. You don't dress because you have to dress a certain way. You dress how you want your style to be directed, and that means you have freedom of choice to, to select the clothes that you want to yeah, select. I go to Goodwill. It doesn't matter, but you have the freedom to do yeah, so. Goodwill specials you know what I'm every Tuesday. And you definitely don't go to Goodwill. <laughs> I'm trying that? to think of like. <laughs> you just look like pause. Yeah, it's like a dramatic pause because I'm trying to think like, like you're nowhere near broke. Like you're literally not, like you know you know where you could say like if you really think like oh I'm broke is because you're thinking of like, um where you want to be at life. There's people bro that, like they're okay making sixty seventy whatever, whatever however like whatever the the, the number is like there, there's other people that need to make two hundred. There's other people that their minds like nah if I don't make five I'm broke. If I don't make a mil I'm mm -hmm. broke. So, I'm saying like you 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 complete package, but like you're above average. You dress well for like the 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 time that we're in today. You're a white boy for sure. You're a white boy. You wear hair product. You have hair product. So do you? I'm different. Oh yeah, I do have hair product. <laughs> I try to get waves. That's different. But you have hair product, like just for like the shine and shit. Like you want to be able to like you know have your hair withering. In, in <laughs> withering. The, yeah, you know what I'm saying you wear Apple Watch. Everybody know you wear Apple Watch. You You're a even, loser. You don't even want a Rolex. You're a loser. Like you said, he said, like, yeah. bro, you don't even think about that shit for a minute. Yeah, a lot of guys out here that are trying to get chains, trying to get watches, like, to impress girls. You have an Apple Watch. Like, you don't even care about getting a Rolex or none of that shit. You're like, bro, I don't care about that shit. Of course you know not. What I'm saying? You got the car that you want and that you like. You get me? Living in, for the most part, the, like the way you eat and the way like you dine and stuff like that, in the culture that you want to be embraced by, which like the whole Italian and, you know what I'm saying? So, you, you, you get in the whole package. You're pe pretty people privileged. That's how, that's how when we have this podcast, I try to educate you on some of the struggles out there in life because, <laughs> because you're I'm, not, I'm you don't blinded know to all it. of I'm them. Blinded to you it. are, you are <laughs> blinded to some of them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, even when, when it comes to like <laughs> speaking, like I'm saying like, all right, like. But well, we're going back to BK though. Huh? We're going oh, yeah, 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 yeah. BK got the, the <laughs> non, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't mind having a little, a little burger from BK every now and then. it's organic, yeah. Yeah, if it's real, like if it's real, I'll be like, ah, you know, fuck it. I don't mind. You get me? If it's like late night, nothing open type shit, I could go for it. But but you get where I'm going now. Like, I feel like, you know, you just, just present the whole package. So like, you know, when we do this podcast, I just feel like it's my duty, it's my job as a friend to try to educate you. You get me? And try to like have you think and try to have you look at another perspective because not everybody gets to live like that. <laughs> think about it. Have you ever got a job interview and they told you no? 
No. You know how many people go to job interviews and they don't even get called? Yeah, like, but that's and because... And they don't even get, like, processed. That's because, you know, it's grace. That's what it is. Yeah, okay. Like, have you ever have you ever gone to a physical... um, phys- Like, physically gone to a job interview and they've, like... Been like, nah, I'm not, nah. not at this moment. But okay. that's because of exactly. grace. I have nothing to do with prettiness. Okay, fine. You can use grace. Other people will use pretty boy privilege. It's the same thing. It you is get the same it thing. Is, look, okay, it, it's like when we talk about energy, right? Uh-huh. Like we say the energy here is negative, yeah. right? The aura here is negative. We're all using all these different words to say the same thing. You get what I'm saying? You want to use grace, I'll use pretty people privilege, and we just keep it moving because it's all the same thing at the end of the day. I'm just saying. I just want to give you a different pers- <laughs> I just want to give you a different perspective of the world, because not the whole, the entire world doesn't get to have pretty people privilege. Think about it. Like, what do you think the percentage of, of super attractive people in the United States? Like, that's like one percent too. Yeah, that has yeah, to be yeah. like just like rich people is like the one percent. Yeah, 1% and most of them are in Hollywood. That's yeah, for sure. A lot of them in Miami too. Yeah, a lot of them <laughs> in Miami. Trust me. I was just um playing ball today by uh by the Grand or whatever, like in a mm-hmm. little area, and these Toronto guys are like, bro. Like, you know, um, cause I, I had a friend, he's like, he asked her like, yo, like, do you see girls like that? Like in Toronto? He's like, nah, bro. Like, I mean, like you do rarely, but here he's like, bro, just being here, I've seen like five. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Cause just here, like, he's, he's, that's like normal. Yeah. You know I mean? That's literally normal. Seeing like bad girls here is just mm-hmm. a normal thing. You know what I mean? So I just want to be able to give, you know, the audience and yourself, you know, a different perspective into like, not everybody has like this you know good life like some people are struggling out here some people drive cars with no bumpers you know what i'm saying that shit could barely drive you know what I'm some people wear oversized clothing because they just cannot keep moving forward you know what i mean like some people like just have other different things like in life that's not necessarily so you got to count your blessings and we talk about this all the time you know what I'm all i'm trying to do is just give you a different perspective out here that's what i'm doing bro you know what I'm yeah, saying? So bro, you might you might want to say thank you from time to time. You're you know an idiot, I mean? bro. I, I appreciate you guys hearing the lies, all the lies, all the slandering that's going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if I, if I was um, if I was um, like six inches taller, if I had like <clears throat> like an actual job. <laughs> yeah, like, I had, like, actually, that way I got paid money. Yeah, honestly, yo, if people and knew about you, if people really knew about you, you lose any of this fake hood credibility you try to build. And if I had, um, Mr. Fortune 500 over here, like, and if I had, uh, don't try to big me up right now, okay? Don't try to big me up. It's not about me, it's about you. So, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And what? if I had, you know, hold on. How are and you? if I had, like, actual hair, how maybe? are your slides more expensive than my shoes? No, they're, not, they're not more expensive. How much your shoes cost? Two something? Yeah, these, sh- these slides cost like one something max. Yeah, exactly. I, but I, I use Nike slides, twenty dollars. Okay, but that's because you choose to though. No, I can, I can, <laughs> you can wear any slides you wanted. So there's no slide that's too expensive for you. Trust me. <laughs> all of these fucking slides that you see out here are not really that expensive. First of all, most of the slides that you see out here, like Gucci slides, uh, the Fendi slides, yeah. they're not that expensive. Trust me, you can afford them. Like, like, don't I even can. try to play me right now. Okay. Ab- you absolutely can. Just don't buy coffee for one week and you can afford them. <laughs> one, week. <laughs> one week, I promise you, you'll be able to afford them. Think about how much money you can. But how much? Uh, let me ask someone. How many ten dollar coffees do you buy in one week? Nah, I don't buy more than like three or two. But actually, I don't drink ten dollar coffee. I drink like six dollars. <laughs> hey, I buy like, no. He said like, I don't drink more than two or three. Thirty dollars a week. A week. Like hundred twenty dollars a month. Up. It's like six dollars. One time, one time when this dude made me like a cocktail, you said you swore and it was alcohol and it was a coffee cocktail that i paid like 15 dollars for a coffee or something Ooh. like that. that was one time in my life I, I really, I really, I, I, like, after that like my coffee is like six dollars when's the last time you gone out to dinner uh yesterday what did you eat or where did you go what area well i went we went to winwood so mm-hmm. I, I, I ate lunch the right? winwood area you know i ate lunch the area that's not worth 10 million dollars by the yeah, way yeah it's crazy bro. okay i went i went we okay. had like a late lunch, so I had the okay. cactus burger at Grills. Got you. And then we went to Bacano after for dinner. Gotcha. Um, I wasn't hungry, so I didn't eat, but gotcha. I paid for the dinner of the people that were eating. Of course. Of so course. What is it? Of course. No, no, no. So I'm, I'm just trying to cocktail. So no, because I know. Like, I know you, you went about. you went and ate food at a sports bar, a brand new sports bar, right? That's very nice, by the way. Very nice. <laughs> you just set me up. No, it is a very nice sports bar. I cannot lie. No, I'm just trying to say, I'm just trying to give you perspective because I, I feel like... I'm not lacking any. No, because I think that like, you know, the life that you live, you're so accustomed to that you don't, you might not realize other people can't necessarily do that because you didn't go out to eat once, but you went out to eat twice. 
And just because you didn't physically eat, but because you weren't hungry, but you would have physically eaten if you were hungry. Though. Nah, bro, I only had five dollars, and that's all. Yeah, I had okay. Left. So you not only went to go eat once, but twice in a very expensive area nowadays. But did you hear they're trying to close one window? Like eleven. Really? Yeah, cause they're trying to build more condos and whatnot. Makes so. sense. So they don't want to have disturbances. Yeah, but whatever. But they're gonna lose money <sighs> if they do that. Oh yeah, clubs are shutting yeah. down for sure. But um, you know, um, you want to eat twice and you pay for it. You know what I mean? Like you, you are that is pretty people privilege to a degree. You know what I'm saying? Because all the you things pay for my food all the time, like food. all the time. Nah, that's definitely not all true. the time. That's definitely yeah, not you true. do. It just from time to time, God gives me a couple of blessings. That's all, all it is. All the no. time, you pay for my food all the time. Nah, that's not true. Or it's in the bistro. You pay basically for all my stuff. It's in the bistro. That's not true. Yeah, man. you do. Nah, yeah, that's not true. That's because, good facts. You know, so I, I'm trying to say it's like you know, like the last time I went out to dinner was like yesterday. No, actually, no, I actually really don't know. Wednesday. No, we didn't go to you dinner. Didn't dinner this Wednesday. We had a movie. That's not dinner. But you had dinner. A salad? Nah, man. That's, That's like, not dinner? I wouldn't call that. A I, I wouldn't call that going, salad. You know, I wouldn't call that going out today because we went to a movie. The reason I... I you yeah, know, but you go... Okay, let me say it. Yeah, but I'm almost obligated because it's like somebody's going to come... Let no, me because think about it. Look, somebody's going to come and serve you, right? And I... I, You know, there's times that we do it because it's like, yo, let's let's slow down. But like, I really hate like being like, nah, I just want the water then I'm not going to give you nothing. Because like, damn, like you put in the order for a water. I'm not even going to tip you or nothing. It's like, so I might as well just get something. That's usually why I so order something. So you waste $20 instead of just like, you know, I guess. Well, no, I just really like the movie theater. Okay, but look. Jorge. Oh, but it's not about Jorge me Jorge will not go to any movie theater that is not seen the bistro. That's a $20 ticket just to start. And you heard it here first. Yeah, but if He the has ticket- to buy food just to no. tip no, 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 but the thing is that, like, if that if that costs less, I would still go. I just like the place. I know. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, but you can afford it to pay for it. Yeah, but... Because I want to go to $5 Ocean But Bank. why are we talking about money? We're talking about pretty people privilege. No, we're talking, so about, we're talking, about, we're talking about the fact we're that... talking about pretty people being the whole package. That's what I'm trying to... I'm trying to give you the understanding that we're talking about pretty and people... And Jersey Drake over here is not the whole package? No, no. First, I'm not Jersey Drake. I got waves now, so, you know, respect yeah, Jersey don't got waves <laughs> in that little picture. Nah, not like this, though. You know, Drake <laughs> got, like, real waves. I got, like, fake waves. All right, but you get in there. You get well, in there. Have, nah, I will never get there, trust me, because Drake has um different hair than I do, different hair texture. Like, his hair is, like, real, like, naps, and I have, like, this silky kind of, yeah, like, I heard it here first. weird thing going on. I heard on. it here first. No, what I'm trying to tell you, though, is, like, you lack perspective in certain things. I'm just trying to teach you the perspective. Like, you think I'm fucking around by being so serious. Like, you got to nah, think bro. about these kind of things. I don't lack perf- perspective yes, in anything. in certain nah, things. Nah. When's the last time somebody didn't want to... Let me ask you a question real quick. And this is aside from like any relationship. Even when you were younger, have you ever looked at a girl and you couldn't get that girl? Like, even when you were... Like I said, like, in middle school, high school. Not now, because, you know, now it's, like, very, like, fucked up, right? And you have a girlfriend anyways. <laughs> but I said, like, in middle school... Yeah, I so like you like, clarified that. You like it. No, but I say it's fucked up because now girls... Okay, remember, like, high school, middle school, shit like that, girls looked at you just for you, like, who you were, like, mm-hmm. you know, maybe as a yeah, person. Not what you looked. had, yeah. Not what now, you had. Exactly. Now, if you don't drive a nice car like that, girls ain't trying to look at you. So, you get what I'm saying? Has there ever been a girl that you look and you like, like, that you liked and you knew that she wasn't really fucking with you at all? Like, at all, at all. Like, you couldn't get her no matter what. Like, it's like, bro, I, nah, I'm not... Honestly, no, I, don't, I don't know, bro, because I really didn't, like... I really didn't really like look for no girl at all. Gotcha, like, gotcha. Not even in high school. You know, but you never had this. crushes or nothing like that. Not really. Like, it'd be like, oh, that girl's pretty. But, like, I've been like, I've that's my character. I've matured a lot, obviously. Right. But my character has pretty much been the same. Like, I've always just been minding my own business. Okay. Like, well, I don't find out about a girl liking me or or even paying attention to a girl until she starts talking to me. Like, I've never really because I've always been about like keeping my head down, minding my own business. I don't want to talk to nobody. Okay, and so so, that, so so you never actually had a crush on a girl then? Like you never seen a girl like damn, man, like like you've seen this girl all the time, but you actually crushing on this girl? Never. Yeah, I think so. I just have I, you been able to get her? Or I, could I have you? I don't know because I didn't talk to them. I'm telling oh, so, you, I so really, you never even like. I, I really, so you never even heard on the screen like, oh yo, like that girl thinks you're cute. Oh yeah, or, I've heard a lot of that. <laughs> okay, but that's not me saying. People, that's no, not me saying like yo, no, I'm trying course. to get that girl. Like, no, no, no. Th- but this is what I'm trying to get at though. Like the fact that you can crush on somebody, not talk to them at all, like not even try to holler at them. And still hear through the grapevine, yo, bro, that girl say you're cute or she or she's digging you. That's pretty yeah. people privilege. And what about you? All the stories you told me. Girl coming up to you like, yo, <laughs> look at you. Look that's at different. You. <laughs> that's, I'm going to tell you why that's different, though. I'm going to tell you why that's different. <laughs> it ain't no different. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, I'm going to tell you why it's different, though. Because for, okay, so this has been my struggle 
my whole life. You know what I'm saying? My whole I'm life. I'm talking about struggles now. Yeah, yeah. So th- this has been my you thing. Some breakthroughs now. Yeah, yeah. So look, I've been I've been going to church for a very long time, especially when I was like, well, not now, but you know, when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Even I'm talking about like when I was like in fourth, fifth grade. I still remember like church, right? So when I was in middle school, high school. I was the good boy, the Christian boy, like the, like, no, this guy's not going to fuck you over this. You get what I'm saying? So like in a world where you have a bunch of like villains, meaning guys like trying to fuck girls over, like just trying to fuck and this and that girls probably, you know, saw me around that group of guys. It's like, wow, like he's He's different. He's not cursing. He's not, um, you know, he's not just fucking girls and leaving. He's not, you get me? So I can like, so, like, the appeal came from that, I feel. Yeah, I feel like they saw it as, like, like oh, like, this is, like, safe. You get me? Like, this is, like, like I'm good here. You know, mm-hmm. girls uh, love stability. They like stability. They know, like, they could be with somebody that's, that's going to be solid. Mm-hmm. I think that that's what girls saw. It's not necessarily, like, oh, he looks good yeah. or whatever. It's more like, oh, you know, he's, like, the he's safer. Girl, yeah. like, he's not going to hurt me. Exactly. So, I think that's what it came down for. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So, that's that's been my struggle. Like, you know, I don't get seen as... As me, you know what I'm saying? I get seen as like this, like a safety net of a guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's safe, you know what I'm saying? He plays it safe. I feel like now that I've clearly changed, like, very much so, and I'm definitely the opposite. Now I'm looked at as like, oh, yeah, don't fuck with that motherfucker, you get me? Because, because now, like, you know, it's um, but let me ask a question, Uh, sure, sure. So, yeah, the mindset is don't don't get with that guy because it's whatever you call it, uh. But the girls are still trying to get it with the guy, though. You talking about me? Yeah. Mm, yeah, but not because I'm pretty, though. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. There pretty, is pretty, pretty, no, 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 it's not because I'm pretty. It's because they're lo- they so think that they. So you're not attractive. Is what you're saying? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I've talked about it. Before. I, I don't look at myself as an attractive person. It, it, it's, it has nothing to do with confidence. Me neither, but, but when I call you attractive, no, you do. No, you do. Let's, let's get that one out there. You do. I'm a stud. It's different. No. <laughs> You do. Let, all right, let's just get that one clear. You no, do. You do. Nah, nah. No, you do. You are, so you're going to tell me that you don't think you're pretty. No. Why? No, because Because you're like, the other thing you mentioned, except for maybe the car, and there's a good reason no, why you haven't changed no, your car. This is, this is the thing. This is the thing. Okay, so I think that um, I when I when I look at certain things, I operate on extremes for certain things. I'm like, extreme for, about for, everything. I know you are, but I'm saying like when it comes to visuals, I operate on extremes because... For me, like, I need to look at something and I need to, like... Okay, I'll give an example, right? If I see you with a pair of jeans on and I see how it tapers down, it doesn't taper down quite... <clears throat> like, for example, like, when you buy, like, uh, regular jeans, like, off-the-rack jeans, right? Like, for example, like, some, somebody like me, I go buy off-the-rack jeans, right? And it fits me good on my waist and it might not fit super good on my thighs because, like, my, my it might be real tight on my, th- on my thighs. <laughs> real tight, real <laughs> tight <laughs> on my thighs. <laughs> and as it goes down my leg, I'm not definitely not going to like it because now I know, like, I got little-ass calves, so I know the jeans going to get real baggy at the bottom. Mm-hmm. That Visually, that shit looks fucked up to me. So that's what I mean by extreme. So, like, I don't look at myself and I'm like, damn, bro, like, you got a pretty-ass face because I think that's where it comes down to. Like, you know, it's like the whole package is like, you know, you got to have a body, pretty face, all that shit, right? So I don't I don't look at myself in that light, but I can look at a guy, I can look at a girl in that light and be like, like, oh, you're ugly, you're pretty. And then there's people that just fall in the middle to me. And we're like, oh, okay, you just like I don't see you as ugly yeah. or pretty, you're just regular. That's that you know that's just um my my point of view. You know what I'm saying? It's just my struggle. Like that yeah, but that's that, that doesn't mean that you don't have pretty people. And I've seen no, it. I don't have pretty people. I've British. seen it. I've seen it all kinds of places. I've seen it in restaurants. <sighs> I, I've seen it no, at no. the movie theater. I've no. seen it everywhere. No, you have privileges. No, no, no. I don't yeah. have pretty people privilege. Yeah. You know what it is? It's just that, like, I think at the end, um, like, and we talked about this before. There are certain people in this world who are going to see you for who you truly are. You get what I'm saying? That was deep, though. Put it in a it, t-shirt. It is. Put it in it a is. t-shirt. And I'm going to tell you why. It's some people who can feel and sense when you just have that pure soul or you're a good person or whatever. Mm-hmm. You get me? And there's other people who will judge you just off of your looks. You get what I'm saying? I think that a lot of times, I think that happens. You get me? I think I, like, um... I mean, I, I get this a lot. You're like, oh, you just, you look like a fuckboy, you like a jerk. You know, I, I get that a lot. You get me? Um, and I'm neither of those things, you know, for the most part. At least I don't think I'm neither of those things for the most part. But I think that, you know, like what you're uh, trying to get to is like, we're in the beach or whatever. It's just that I have built relationships with some people. You get what I'm saying? But these are relationships. It's not like I walked in the place and it's like, I'm embraced by everybody. Well, you know, I've never th- walked in a place and that happened time- either. Right. But wait, what do you mean? I've never walked in a place and that happens. Oh, so that, you definitely have. I've like, seen. I've, I've, I've. We've been to restaurants before, and your personality, 
Um, it's building a relationship. So it's the same yeah, concept but you, you're but you, talking about. You build a relationship right then and there. I'm I'm the type of person that it takes like time. Like okay. I'm a, I'm a I'm a that introvert. Do, I'm introverted. Yeah, that, person. I know, but that has nothing to do does. with the person. Yeah, because you're, because what I'm trying to tell you is that like I built these relationships through just talking, right? Like it's just I'm speaking with these people, and eventually these people are like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, you know I've seen you enough. What's popping, my guy? With you, it's like well, hey, look. Charming smile guy, uh, witty personality guy. I meet you the first time and like, yo, we're dapping it up and we're cool. Like that's that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's part of your privilege. Like, that's privilege. it is probably, of course it is because look, <laughs> off bat, you already look like you already have that look that eases people in. You get me? It's like especially with girls. Like with in the guy, in the, the guy's gay, that you're gonna ease them in too. You get me? It's like, oh, okay, like this looks interesting. This is this is interesting right here. I'm not ignoring you. I'm looking at you. Imagine if you're a bartender. And you have a good-looking girl come in. It's gonna be the same thing. Yummy is like, oh, okay. Like you know, it, it could ease in. You're gonna treat her a little bit differently. You know what I'm saying? If a bunch of regular guys, but hey, how you doing, man? I help you out with the girl. You might, you know, show that extra attention because that's pretty people privilege. And you have the personality to back up that. Look, there's some people that are pretty, but their personality is just so trash that when you get to know them, that prettiness washes off. It's See, like the only ugh. part I agreed about this whole statement was the personality part. Okay. So that it tends to for me to open up and start relationships yeah. and conversation or whatever. Yeah, but, but, but that is the only part. No pretty nonsense over here, bro. No, it is. I still don't buy it that. Is. We talked it about is. this with Julie. We talked about this between ourselves. Right, I will right. never buy into that. But it's that it's okay if you don't buy into it because part of you is is you still have humility within yourself. <laughs> it's the truth though. Part of it is still being humble. But you know, like you said it yourself, yeah. I mean, look, your your dad taught you guys from you guys were young, so like it's instilled in you for you to be like, oh yeah, I'm beautiful, I'm a stud, whatever. You know it though. You get what I'm saying? Like, and when you walk into a place, you know what's up. Like, you know, like when you walk into a place and the guy's like not feeling you, you feel some type of way. He's like, yo, like why don't you like me, bro? Like, what the fuck going yeah. on? You all right? He's like, I think I'm likable. Exactly. You see, for me, like me personally, I don't walk into a place. I'm like, damn, this guy's not fucking with me. I don't care. I'm like. Well, shit, this is just regular. Like, I'm more surprised when people do fuck with me than when they don't <laughs> fuck with me because I'm like, oh, like, because you okay. Don't, because you don't really want to talk to nobody. But I'm an introvert person, though. You get me? I'm, I'm an introverted person. So, this is the thing. I think that just because I talk a lot of shit, you know what I mean? I can yeah. talk a lot of shit doesn't mean that, like, you do. I'm this super yeah. outspoken. No, no, I, honestly, like, I'm an introverted only, you person. Only, yeah, you only talk to the people you know. That's for a exactly. fact. Exactly. Yeah, if I don't know you, first of all, that, that's, num- that's my number one thing always. Like, if I don't know you, I'm definitely not trying to talk to you. You get me? And but that's why there's a, yeah. that, that misconception that you're like a jerk or whatever. Because okay. everybody sees you talk a lot. Uh, but that's a good but perspective. Then, but then they, they're like, you're around them and you don't say Jack. So you're like, oh, this guy's mm. too cool to talk to me or too. I, I never thought of it that way. Because you're always that's reckless, good... but you're reckless with like us. Right, right. And right. then, you know, people see you in private and you're not talking to nobody. They're yeah. like, yo, so this guy thinks he's all that. Yeah, I get it now. Okay, I didn't know that point of view, though. Tell that's me, a that, good that point of view. I'm going to cut this clip. I'm going to put it out. I'm going to say, like, yo, do y'all agree? Yeah, yeah of me, course just I agree. Yeah. That's a good, I never seen that from that perspective. Is that my thing is, and that's a very good point. I guess defending myself, though, and I mean, I already said it. It, it is to that extent though. It's like, yo, if I don't really know you, yeah. I'm not really trying to talk yeah. to you. Sometimes though, I meet somebody for the first time and the energy's just there. Yeah, like, I feel yeah, like a vibe yeah. from you. But I feel most people, the energy's just not there. You get me? And I don't think, like me personally, I've met too many new people to the point where I can say, oh, I fuck with you. Because there's not too many new people I've met where I really yeah. fuck with them. I've, I've, my group of friends has remained to this day like very, like the same people I've known since yeah, I was a very small that, child. Yeah, you, you're definitely like pattern driven right like if you find a spot that works for you like you'll yes. go to that spot you go to the spot and eventually you build that relationship for a lifetime but because i go yeah, to that spot exactly. though, it's not because no, no, but I'm saying oh I'm look saying at my, this pretty guy like, coming no, in no but no. for you and that's the difference between you and me is that most of your things are like for a lifetime mm-hmm. most of my things are just temporary like because that's how it is because for really you, yeah when you you build something you built it over time right when i built it it's like three seconds and so it's gone in three give seconds. me one place that you will give that temporary thing for that you can remember for you or me for you Uh, any place any coffee shop I go to any restaurant oh okay okay. like you only go there once like you say you don't build a rapport oh I get what you're saying so like that I understand where you're coming from but what I'm saying is like in overall people will see the the Georgia like the Instagram posts Mm -hmm. right and then they compare it to the fact that you're always talking reckless but then when you're around other people you're quiet and they're like yo what's going on here there's a disconnect but it's not a disconnect it's an extension of your character and your personality yeah and it's like, you know, you open up with the people you feel yeah. like opening up. Yeah, my, 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 I, yeah, you make a good point. Um, I think a lot of people who suffer from anxiety also have that. Like, for example, I know Charlemagne talks about it. Mm-hmm. Charlemagne's like, um, he'll go to a place and he'll be like, 
just, you know, lay back, mm-hmm. like, not talking to nobody, and people will be like, yo, like, you know, Charlamagne's, like, reckless mm-hmm. as fuck, right? So it's like, yo, like, how, does he think he's, like, superstar mm-hmm. Hollywood, but not necessarily, but I never thought about that. that. That That's that's also another thing for me. Like, I don't really look at um my behavior through other people's lenses because I'm not trying to be... Like, I'm not trying to, like, be the quiet guy or the still mm-hmm. guy. It's just... I don't feel comfortable within me to like speak. So, yeah, to, to speak. Cause for example, um, I'll give you a good example. You remember that time uh, Fatima brought all her friends, uh-huh. over, right? Remember, right? Yeah. And like, you know, you hear like, <laughs> oh, why is this guy so quiet? He uses glasses, right? It's like I just didn't fuck with their energy. Like I, I, cause there's been times where I've go out with like your brother. We'll go like to like some place, right? Hang out with his friends. And some of his friends, they just have that good. Like, hey, bro, what's up, man? Like, how you doing? Like, I like your shoes, or or like, how you doing, man? Like, you know, you need anything, like. That energy is you allows you to open up exactly because now you you made me feel like okay like you know you're not uh, an enemy or something mm-hmm. like that yeah. I'm like you're someone that I could probably catch a vibe yeah. with get me and that's good energy. There's other people who I don't always feel that energy mm-hmm. and that's why I always will say like all right, I don't fuck with this person because just I don't like what I'm feeling. Yeah, you exactly. Get me? And, and so then, you feel like you can't be yourself. And I've always said this from before this word or this whole vibe thing came to be I'm mean, like you know everybody's like oh it's a vibe I've been saying vibe forever I've been saying like yo if I don't have that vibe like I'm a vibes kind of person mm-hmm. like if I go walk into a place and I feel like the shit's just negative and it's just negative it's hard because it depletes me because if now if I have to take the position of like, okay let me try to bring this energy up it depletes me because I'm that type of person I just need to like to like be like yo let me vibe out because I'm not and I do not want to be the life of the party mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying but I love being around people who are the life of the yeah. party because that energy you is bond, almost like it feeds. Yeah, you you feed me? It feeds it. you and you just feel good and you yeah. vibe off. You get me? But I'm not going to be that motherfucker. There, there is times where I've walked into places and I feel like, all right, you know what? Let me take charge for a minute. Because I got to pick it up for somebody Exactly. Else. Let me pick it yeah. up real quick. But I know that once, I only have to do this for a little while because the energy is going to come up yeah. and everybody's there. And then once everybody's there, like, all right, cool. Then that's it. Like, yeah. I could, like, I could you, bounce. You could now. vibe. You could vibe. Yeah, to I could vibe. Like, exactly. Yeah. I don't got to. So it, that's an interesting point of view. I never even thought about it like that. So it's like, the thing is like, I guess like, um, it also means like, who is watching me talk so much and then, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's like, like, you know, it's like that aura, like, cause look, let's be honest, you know, you don't come off as a dude who's lacking confidence, right? Mm-hmm. So it's an aura about you, is there like, uh, I guess that's the best word I can use, that is like, this dude thinks he's all that and because mm-hmm. you don't talk, yeah. people are left with that one impression was like, this dude thinks he's all that. Because gotcha. he's there with his Macallan 25, just chilling, talking to nobody. Gotcha. Posted in the back. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Makes like, sense. Yeah. Like that. So it's like it creates that aura where, like, yo, dude's un- untouchable. Yeah. Okay. Now that makes sense. Um, I th- I, that's a really Which also, interesting point of view. It's like I the I James Bond privilege, right? Gotcha. So you got that pretty boy status too, bro. Don't nah, come nah, out nah. to me. Yeah, but I, I, I'll tell you this, j- j- um, for sake of argument, though. Like I said, I think to me, a uh, pretty boy privilege has to be a whole package. You know what I'm saying? You got to have. Um, what is what a girl will see as like? Oh yes, you get me. You gotta have a little bit of money on you, cause you know I think that like in general, you know, you don't need to have. I think that girls get to that point where like, oh, you need to be making millions, you need to be making six figures when they're on that. You get yeah, me? But Most girls that I'm around, they ain't making that kind of money. Can you, you can you afford to take me to dinner? Yeah, cool. Yes, exactly. They, there, I, I think that's where it comes down to like, yo, I, yes, I can afford to pick you up. Yes, I can mm-hmm. afford to pay for yeah. some dinner or whatever. You get me? Yes, like I think that's most people nowadays. Though you get me? Let's be honest. I don't think. There are people who are, you know, in their mm-hmm. levels, but whatever. But just in overall, like, just for your perspective, like, the whole package is height. It's how you look, how you dress, what you drive, what you make, and what you know. You get me? All of these things come together mm-hmm. psh, with a little spiff of magic from God. You know what I'm saying? That's what creates pretty boys. You know what I'm saying? I think that there's people who, like, are, like, below that border. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, like, uh, all this, like, um... And then, you know, like when you see those old movies, like the Indian crossing the frontiers, yeah. but like they don't quite make it because the white man comes and shoots them down. That's like what another level you get me is. It's <laughs> the like second tier. Yeah, like like they try because they're almost there, but like just you something know something isn't something there. Just, something isn't there exactly. Yeah. So like that's that's um I probably fall below that. Like you so know what I mean? so like because I'm watching Susan. Like, I might be it's a Harvey and Mike. Exactly. Is that you know what? Yes. Yes. Because Mike got all not the things. Actually, no. I'll tell you, no. Because no, no. Mike got all the things, but he's not quite Harvey. I'll tell you, no. This is this is exactly, this is why I disagree with you. It's Harvey than Lewis. No, but Lewis is way below Mike. I'll take Mike over Lewis. Exactly. But you know why you take Mike? Because Mike is tall. 
No, because Mike's Mike, a genius. Listen, my, exactly. That's about to say. He's a chill no, guy, no, not a loser. If boy. Mike was like 5'3, Mike would never get Rachel. Yeah, but Lewis he is ugly. Get, yes, but that's why he also doesn't get Rachel. But I, that's what I'm trying to tell you, though. The, Mike is Mike is literally Harvey. He's just not there with the money yet and with like the culture of his environment. But the swagger. What, 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 season, swagger. what season are you on? Third. Yeah, okay. But the third season. No, third season when he starts kind of balling up a little bit, right? He starts picking up new suits in the third season. Yeah, he, he's right now. He's like, uh, what? What is he right now? Uh, he's very, very better suits for sure. That's what um, I'm telling you. Like, this before? is where Harvey told him, you know, Lewis, you can have him, and then at the end, he's like, no, no, he's coming back to me. Oh, no, no, no. Well, you got, you got to wait for um the split. There's a part where Mike decides to bounce, right? And like, don't um, ruin it, don't rush. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yo, 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 get there. But the the point, what I'm trying to get at is that ultimately Mike becomes Harvey. You get me? That that that's the essence of everything. So I would disagree with you. It's not Mike, and it, unless you want to say that, because the thing is, like, Mike has a lot of potential. You get me? Because he has prerequisites. I always think that like there are certain things in a man that like you can't you know, teach. You can yeah, and you cannot change like physically. You get me? Like, for a woman, right? If a woman feels like having big boobs, big butt is gonna uh, increase her chances in life, she can go ahead and do that. If a man feels like Heights and muscles can increase his chance of life. He cannot do that. Yeah, I mean, well, he has muscles, to he go can. to the gym. Yeah, but I mean, like, mu- muscles you can't, but not really. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the body though. type you can't, but the muscle you can. Yeah. You can talk, you can work on proportions, right? And and like this and what like, I mean by example, muscles. Like, like, well, but that's what I'm saying, like, yeah, but you can work on that. that that's exactly what I'm trying to get at. Like, okay, you mean like surgery uh, versus I'll, actually? I'll give an example. I'll give an example. If a guy is tall, everything else. Comes comes in to fruition. Yeah, you can work it out. For you sure. can work it out. You get me? Maybe the sex part, you know, like that's also something that could be learned. Yeah. Like for example, like okay, um, you can be an average dude and you can work on all these other things. You get me? Like you can build muscle, yeah. you can build knowledge, you can build. You get me? But there's just certain things that you cannot change, and I, I feel I, like that's what makes you incomplete. Yeah. Even money, like having money, is like something that you can learn to achieve yeah. and get. You get me? And then yeah. that I, I would agree that, but I would only only point out. A couple of things. And then one of them would be confidence, like real confidence. I don't mean cockiness, right? Yeah. Confidence and, and just like overall attitude, like a mindset. Mm-hmm. You know, like I feel like those things are just either you have them or you don't. Yeah. Yeah. And I think everything else can come with that. Yeah. Because like, for example, people who start uh, in like the lowest of the low, there's two people who start the lowest of the low. One's going to become the best. The other one's going to stay down there. Right. What really changed? It was the mm. confidence and it was the attitude. Right. Right. Yeah, uh, and, yeah. I, and, I, and then what's going to keep you there? Confidence and attitude. Because you got gotcha. you, you, millionaires could go and go. Yeah. But what's going to keep you there? I had the confidence to play big, bet yeah. big, like live wh- big. Whatever got you yeah. there is going to keep you there. Elevate you. And those, gotcha. I think that those are the things that you really can't do anything about. Everything yeah. else you can, obviously, how you can adjust. But everything else I feel like is, is subjective because you can it is. You modify. It is. No, you can modify, but that's what I'm trying to say. But like, but I, when you speak of a general, because I think that, you know, either way, like, okay, there's a thing. You can be a pretty boy to somebody specific. Uh-huh. You get what I'm yeah. saying? The thing is that we are talking very general. So, you know, in this general conversation, we cannot be specific to one person. But exactly. But then I would argue that generally I am not that person that you keep talking about. Oh, so you think generally you're not a pretty boy. No. Why? Why do you think Because you're when not I think a pretty, pretty boy, I'm thinking about like like a tier, right? And you put that tier okay. up there. And I think about like your Chris Heaven your Chris Evans, your Hemsworth. I think about like like super stuff. Why 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 do you consider them though pretty boys though? Because pretty boys I think pretty people privilege doesn't always stem from being the ten. You could you could be an eight and still have pretty people privilege. You could be a seven and still have pretty people privilege. I, I, I understand like you're saying like you don't need like to be certain top tier. circles. Yeah, I think I said like in certain circles you could be a pretty without comparison to somebody else. I get what that's what you're saying, but I, I, mean, I think in general though you will be considered a pretty boy though. Like like okay, if you tell me like oh if I get put in a circle with Liam Hemsworth all these people, well yeah you'll get washed out because these guys are like superstars. Like, like, exactly, but no. But they're superstars, though. Yeah, I mean, like they're super famous. They're super muscular guys. Like it's different. But if you if you could compete at that level, they might be different too, though. You get what I'm saying? Like if you got their body type too, and you take away their stardom, then that might be a whole different story too. Because then that that could come into other situations. But you will still be up there, though. Yeah, I mean, like this. So it it, it really depends on where you want to take it at too. Yeah, like, I, I understand. A lot of it's obviously subjective, like, like because it's the way you see yourself. You get me? Like a lot of that is subjective. Like you can tell me no, because you're like this, and I'll be like, nah, I'm actually like this, uh-huh. right? And we all know I'm like super extreme. So for me, right. it's either yes or no, right. and then in like, oh no, you know, like in this area. So you don't think you're a pretty boy? No, and you I've been, don't think we've you're been arguing about this for years. You don't think you have pretty people privilege at all? No. 
Why? Because I just don't think I'm I'm at that tier. Like for me, there's one tier, and that tier includes like a bunch of people I look up to. So but not, you think that the only people with pretty people privilege is these superstars? No, I just I, th- I think like it's like a certain baller status that you reach, right? Like it's just like that's how I see. It. I see it like uh, uh, superstars obviously have that. Um, I think athletes have that. I think certain people that I look up to. So you mean money? Pre- no, 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 sir, buddy. Like even. Like, I think notoriety would probably be one of the most. And that was if he see Like, fame. Yeah, if he see Nah, man. You huh? gotta drop that. No, because that doesn't matter. Like, yo, fame does not matter. Bro, okay. Say you're, like, a f- hideous guy who's super famous. Okay, let's go with let's go this way. Uh, you remember there was a time where, like, people were trying to make um all these, like, I guess you could special need people mm-hmm. famous. Like, yeah. the Wendells and the, like, the, like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, I forgot all these guys' names now, bro. Like during that time of like um the little tubby who was the little tubby boy the Terrio remember like the Terrio uh-huh. like during that time they were trying to make like all these special need kids like like Instagram famous and shit like that those guys have a level of fame but just because they walk into a place doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna get special attention like the only way they're gonna get special attention is if like their fame is that no no but see like, like, that's what I'm saying like I think there's a lot of people who are good looking that I don't dispute right I think those that people, makes have it, people yeah but what I think what makes you like have that privilege is a certain a certain type of notoriety nah man you're wrong I think so bro no you're you, I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong and I don't mean like like to everybody but I mean like in in your context whatever your context is no 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 you're wrong because of, I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong <laughs> if you if you are generally a pretty person <laughs> Yeah. If you are generally a pretty person, uh-huh. right? You are generally a pretty boy, whatever. You can shut your legs out there if you want. No, I'm good. Um, if you are generally a, a pretty person, mm-hmm. you automatically have pretty people <laughs> privilege. Your teachers at school are treating you different. Well, you know how many teachers at school I saw treating the pretty ass girls in class yeah, that way I different? Yeah. And the handsome guys mm-hmm. who are studs different? Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with notoriety. It had to do with, yo, like your presence, the fact that you're this pretty. Really, your prettiness is your notoriety because everywhere you go, people are looking at you. That's the whole yeah, thing. But, like, but, I mean, there is science to the fact that attractive people tend to be more successful. Yeah. Right? But, and so that, I think that's what you're alluding at. I just don't privilege. think I'm part of that group. Of course that you, you are. are. Because, no. because, listen, we just had an hour-long conversation about not only the things that you have and the things that you can do, but even some of the events in which where you... you to, to this point, you can argue, okay, sure, you didn't get uh, disregarded for a job interview because of your resume, right? Yes. But then another part of your argument could also be that, no, you, didn't, you also didn't get disregarded because you look good. Because... What if what if your res what if somebody else's resume was better than yours? It's just that this person in her mind or their mind thought, no, you know what, you might be a more pleasing person to work with. Cause I think that when it comes down to it, that's what we look for. I mean, look, but I've been in interview rooms where I've been the interviewee and I've been interviewed. You get what I'm saying? That's the same thing, right? No, interviewee? Yeah, interview is the same thing. Okay. So well, you're the interviewer or interviewee? Exactly. There we go. Yummy. Yeah, I mean, and in both in both cases, I've learned that that like it all depends on the vibe you catch with the person. Yo, mm-hmm. your resume can be shit, and you catch a good vibe with the person, that person might really consider yeah, yeah. you. And on, on the other hand, your resume might be up here, but you don't really seem like, you know, yeah, like, that, that, doesn't, it doesn't like tell you the might whole get story. along with the culture. It doesn't tell the whole story. Exactly what I'm saying. So so th- those are two two pages to argue. Yeah, I mean, We can argue both ends. Exactly. Cool, that, and, that, and that's fine. And so you clearly stand on one side of the argument, I stand on the other side of the argument, and I think that no matter how much we drill it, it's going to stay you on that side and me on this side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But this is exactly why I started this this um this thing though because I'm trying to tell you you lack that perspective. That's why I'm trying to show <laughs> No, because yes, I can you lack the perspective. I'm trying to show you I can acknowledge your points and still is that it's okay, it's okay that you disagree, but my like my thing isn't for you to agree with me. My thing is f- to bring it to your mind. But I, I can you see didn't it. Have it. No, I can no, no. see it. You didn't have yeah. it on your mind before. Yeah, I could see it. So how did you have it on your mind before? Because you told me about this before. Oh, exactly, but that, exa- but it takes me to tell you though. That's what I'm trying to get at. You didn't see it for yourself. Of course you not, saying? because I would never say, yo, I have pretty people. <laughs> Right, you want to say for that, but you know how many people say for themselves? Like some people know, like, oh, bro, I'm pretty. I get, I get away with this. Like, I, come on, he's feeling me. I'll get away with this. There's people that think like that. There's people that know. There's people that be like, bro, watch this, watch this. Yeah, Ted hey, Bundy. Hey, love. Ted you know. Bundy. Okay, fine. Well, yes, guy's a rapist and serial. Yeah, but he was a good-looking dude. That's how he got the girls. Right, but 
no, 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 pobre. And even when he was in jail, accused of all these things, girls were fa like emailing him, mailing him stuff because right. he was such a good but looking the, man. Right, but okay, so maybe he knew and he used it to his advantage. But I'm trying to say is that other people also know that. Yeah, I am. I know I can get. Like, some people know, like, man, this girl's not feeling me. Watch, bro. I'm going to go get that girl. You know what I mean? Like, because so, that's pretty people privilege. That's part of being pretty people privilege. Like, but there's guys that, like, I can't get this girl. Fuck. Like, that's it. Like, I give up. I can't get her. You know what I mean? There's other people that be like, man, hold up, bro. Let me, let me yeah, try. I got the this. people with that kind of attitude, those are usually the pretty people. Because they're used to in their life to not get, taking else. Yeah, they get what they that's want. That's what I'm trying to say. They get what so, they want. so that's the perspective I'm just trying to give you. And every now and then I got to tell you about it so you don't forget about it. You get what I'm saying? It's like I bring I it to your attention. I don't forget about this non existent. Of course, because, because <laughs> pretty people privilege is real as fuck, bro. Like, that shit is real. <laughs> it is to it people is who have it. You know what I think? I think you become the ultimate pretty boy when tall girls try to get at you. Well, I haven't had a talk good to get at me. Yeah, but you don't try to flirt either. I know, of course That's not. a problem. Like, you got to give girls, like, I mean, not yeah. now. Not at this point in your life. It's too late now. Yeah. You're fucked up. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you fucked up. At this point in your life, you'll never find out. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say, like, if, you know, some girls, they'll welcome you when you give them the eye. You know what I'm saying? If you give them the eye, yeah. you give them a look, they might come up what to you. What if I did it, though? <laughs> yeah, you're a little retarded. <laughs> you're a little retarded. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> nah, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Look, man, look, this, th this entire podcast has been um, about looks and about, you know, women, men. And about how shallow George is. I'm not shallow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not shallow. exactly what it's You know how in-depth I went? Like, there's nothing shallow, There's nothing bro. about this conversation that's shallow, if you think about it. I went so deep, bro. <laughs> like, I'm talking about 15 feet deep pools. You ever been in a 15, deep, 15 feet deep pool? Me yeah. either. No, you've never been in a 15 feet. No, I get it. I'm about to say the never. Like, like 12 feet. 12, actually 12. The pool in the hood, right? Right here in the Al Alapada? That was park? 12? I think that was like 12, bro. I don't know, that's bro. Deep as fuck. That's what I remember. more than one that's 12. Oh, okay. But you, you know what I'm talking about. Probably 12, but 15 feet, that's deep as fuck for a pool. Yeah. At least in my experience. To touch the floor, yeah. That's what I, look, there's the thing about this whole show, right? If if you've been watching this, this to, to the end, you're a real one, and we appreciate you listening. Because I feel like, you know, we might take some stupidities and turn them mm -hmm. And really talk about them. You get mm. what I'm saying? And turn them into something uh, Meaningful. More. Breakthroughs. Yes. Because this conversation right here, the premise of this conversation is dumb. Right? It's like, bro, why are you guys even talking about this? But when you go in depth, you got to understand that. challenge the norms. But th the reason why I like to go in depth into these things is because you kind of get to understand now that, oh, shit, like, some of the things that happen in life is because of, it is because of how you look. It is because of the privileges that you have. So if you fail, it's because you're ugly. Yeah, because look, you know what? <laughs> put it like this. I'm going to put it like this. We know that there is prejudice with Hispanic people, prejudice with black people. There's prejudice maybe even with white people in some places. You know what I mean? Prejudice with all kinds of races. But, you know, something that's not really talked about is that pretty people privilege. Like, there is um, this, like, group of people, you know what I'm saying, who understand they have this privilege and they will take advantage of no, this no, privilege and, and they will use it, this it, it, privilege. Like, it proves to be some more successful. Right? Absolutely. Uh, like I, to close off, I think we took this way too long. Uh, the, I literally just thought about the Bible story about Saul, right? King uh -huh. Saul becomes the first king of Israel. Yeah. It, it says that he was the tallest, most good-looking man among all the men in Israel. Yeah. And that's a big part of why people want to elect him as king, mm. because he was a stud. Yeah, that's it. That, that and you prove my point. No, so I understand that. I agreed. Okay. I agreed to a point. And I, I, I haven't disagreed with you that pretty people get those privileges. Yeah, yeah. And but just I, for yourself. I just don't think that they are for me. Right. And uh, the, the only thing I try to tell you, though, is that, you know, you are contradicting yourself because you call yourself a stud. Like you say, oh, I'm a stud, right? Because you have that confidence in yourself that you are a good looking person, but you're still a humble guy at the end of the day. So you're not going to be like, yeah, man, you're right. You know what I'm saying? I, I do get, it. you're not going to say it because I understand like where you're coming from. You know nah, what I mean? It's just, I, I, I like, get it. Man. I got, I got, a, I, I got a, I got a man of mentality, right? Okay. And it's like, I don't think this thing, I don't go around thinking I'm, of I'm, I'm smart or that. Or none, of that. none of those. And you're humble. I don't think about none of those. It's only when somebody challenges me on a front. Mm. That then, you then, then I'm like I'm like I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna kill you. But you <laughs> have that in 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 the shed. No, I have that in the depths of my ignorance, which no, I'm no, trying to remove. You, no, you have it in the shed. Yeah, I mean, like you know, in the back, the shed is usually that place that's kind of rusty, a little bit old, unkept a little bit, and you have some shit in there. You know what I'm saying? You might have your lawnmower in there that you haven't used in a while. You have your rake in there. You know what I'm saying? You have these tools in the shed. So like your house is nice, you know it's popping. 
But when somebody wants to come and fuck with you and you in this nice house neighborhood, you want to get gangster, like, I'll up, go and get up, dirty again. You get what yeah. I'm saying? I could go and get dirty again. I guess that thing. analogy you works. You I guess that it. analogy works. Saying, you have these tools in the shed and you know what's up. Come on, I man. I guess that Listen, analogy man, works. My job here for I'm Down is just to show some people the viewers and to show you sometimes different points of view just like you show me different points of view you get me you just show me different point of view today you said oh bro people think you're asking because you're quiet around them now would that make me change absolutely no, not. not we know absolutely. that we know that yeah, for a fact. absolutely not because at the end of the day look you know at the end of the day let's be honest you like it yeah a little bit <laughs> and and uh because i like the argument yeah me i um and, and on top of that it, it just, you it, like being right you like that you people yeah, think I do, they I do. know you, yeah, and yeah, then I do, you're I like, do. you don't know Jack. I, I love that I told you so. Yeah. Like, I, lo- I, I love, like, can, let's get into one more argument right now, right? Because th- this is a big I told you so. It's going to happen, uh, I want to say, a year and a half, maybe two years. This My I told you so. So I was having this argument with a young lady, and um, the argument came on cuddling, right? So, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it was presented as, oh, you know, you can cuddle with somebody and then not be emotional, Right? And I had a big disagreement yeah, with that. I, I was like, I don't agree with that. I was either. like, I don't agree well, that. This is like, like girlfriends, you know, like hanging right, out. Right, but no, no. I'm, I'm talking about like, like, like dude okay, and girl. Put it this, so, so the, the scenario is, you know, um, the the young lady has a booty call from time to time, right? Um, and she says sometimes they will just cuddle. He would get up and go home, like no sexual, nothing, nothing. Just they'll come in, they'll watch a movie, cuddle in. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't get popping like that. They just cuddle, they go to sleep, and do a leave. You get me? Uh, my argument was, okay, she thinks in her head that, oh, since we don't have a relationship outside of this bedroom, right? We only contact each other. We don't really have conversation like that. That it's only, um, it's not emotional to her. I'm letting her know that. That's what you think, but what you fail to understand is that that person might not really feel the way that you think it's feeling. Especially if it's a dude that just came to you to cuddle. Exactly. I'm saying, like, this person would... And she's like, oh, well, this person might have other girls. I'm like, yeah, you're right. This person might be having sex with other girls, but to you, especially if he's doing that, he finds comfort in just cuddling with you. That's an emotional thing. Yeah, because he could get it anywhere else. That's exactly my point. So... It's so th- this was the whole argument. I was like, it's fine, you know. I told her that in my opinion, I just think you're young right now, right? You're a younger person. It's not that much younger, um, maybe like two years younger or something like that. And I was like, and that's okay. I'm gonna wait a year and a half or two, and maybe earlier you might realize it, but you might not let me know. But I just want you to know that that my I told you so is always gonna be in the air. It's gonna be lingering. It's over gonna your be head. in your exactly because you're gonna realize in that moment. Oh shit, it's he terrific. was right. It's yeah, because you know the the, the whole time, uh, you know, like when, especially when I have these arguments, I realize you know girls are very set in their ways a lot of times. They want to be right. They're like you know happy wife, happy life, all that stuff. I've always been against happy wife, happy life my entire life. I don't care if you think you're right. I'm going to tell you why I think I'm right. And if I think um, your points on why you think you're correct, like if I think they suck, I'm going to honestly just tell yeah, you, you're you're you they suck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to challenge them. And if you can't back them up, well, then you don't have enough conviction mm-hmm. then behind you. My conviction is stronger than yours. And if my conviction is stronger than yours, then technically, and I'm not in it to just win the argument. Mm-hmm. I want you to understand that shit. That you technically, I mean? my truth is better than your truth. That in, You know what? Yes. The thing is that when I say it like that, it's fucked up. If I, were to, if I were to phrase that shit like, well, look, you know, I just want you to understand that, you know, there's different perspectives out there. Not everything is always what you think of things. I mean, things could be different. If I start phrasing things a little bit differently, then you're going to be more accepting of what I have to say. I get it, but you I don't me? say that. I feel you because I'd be like saying, look, like, I understand where you're coming from and I respect your opinion. Just know it's wrong. Oh, right. But <laughs> see, so you, you set it up as to like. Yeah, I mean, you said you said that I'm up. Because I'm always as, right, right. But, my, but I'm saying, but that's that's said, how I start an argument. Right. It's like just know I'm always right. This is the question though: Is your I'm always right come from ego or does it come from real fact? Both. No. Both. It can't. It both. It can't. It both. No. Because I know it can't come from both. Uh, yes. No. Because it comes from the fact that I'm I don't ever believe I'm wrong, right? That's, that's, but that comes from ego or facts. It comes from both because I think that's I know ego. more. I think I know more than everybody. Right? Okay. So that's ego, that's ego uh-huh. for sure. But also when the argument does start. I do know more usually than the person I'm arguing. So right, right. I know my facts are going to be more right. Got you. Okay, okay. But now the question is, your facts are going to be right. That's to win the argument. But is the premise of it, at the end of the day, in the middle, are you right though? Yeah. Because for example, okay, you can argue, um, let, 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 let's argue freedom, right? So we can argue freedom, right? You might be against freedom. I'm for freedom. 
and you're just a better debater than I am, and you win the argument, right, in the in the state of debate, mm-hmm. you win it as, uh, you know, why everybody should be enslaved or mm-hmm. why certain people should be enslaved. You win it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're right. You won the argument, but did you win the premise? The premise is not won. Like, you, like I think most people will be like, nah, bro, you wrong still, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if you yeah. whip this guy. I get, get like, it, I get it. But, you get that, but then, so, you know, the whole thing is absolute truth. Like, is there such thing as absolute truth? If not... Yeah, but we will, yeah, we as yeah, humans yeah, will never get to yeah, absolute truth. Yeah, no, but, okay, but if that is the premise, right, especially... Right. You know, for someone like me who does believe there's absolute truth. Uh, yeah, right? for because sure. Because I'm a Christian. But yeah, humans... I have to. I'm saying because okay. I have to. As a Christian, if you don't believe in absolute truth, then oh, what yeah, are you yeah, doing yeah. with for your sure, life? For sure, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yes, yes. Like you can't be a Christian and not believe in absolute truth. Yes. So to me, you know, there's the side of like, and you said it yourself, like the, the premises of, okay, you know, how can you defend something you don't actually believe in? It? Yes, I can defend it. Yeah. Right? And then there's the whole idea of like, to do my convictions actually defend it right right right. and I can separate those two most people can't yeah I get you I, mean, I, I understand where you're coming from my thing though isn't that I think that when I argue people's thing is that oh you just want to be right no 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 I don't want to just be right I want to have a real conversation like I'm talking about for real like mm-hmm. I, I, like if you can prove me wrong I will swallow my pride you know what I mean I'm not really that type of like, there is very few times and there have been times where I will say where ego has taken over where it's like nah, nah bro you're not beating me in this but it's usually when, you know, I'm not in my right mind. You get me sometimes. You get what I'm saying? So it, 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 it varies. But now more than ever, I feel like, you know, I can argue something. And if, you're sh- if you give me a different perspective and I can sit with that perspective and think, well, that's an interesting yeah. point. Then I can, then I can agree. Because, you know, the thing is this. Everything is just lack of perspective at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Like the reason why you think something is the way it is. It's because that's your perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but the lens you're looking into. Exactly. But the moment you change that lens, the, it's different. It's like, again, like mm-hmm. you said, like, yo, you look through a telescope and the fucking moon is right there. And the minute you get out that telescope, that shit it is, is far, far as yeah, fuck. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah. So that, that, that's like, so that's that's my whole thing with arguments. So for the sake of this argument, you know, to this young lady, I was letting her know that, yo, you cuddling with somebody is, is bite not... You the a, exactly. Because... Even I even like for her, you're looking at that comfort as a momentary. You might be like, I want this comfort right now. I don't really want it from you, but you're here available or yeah. whatever. So I'll take it. He might be like, I want you. Exactly. He might be like, I want you, but I'm afraid that like if I tell you I want you, that you might break this mm-hmm. thing that we have off. And this is the only like connection I have, I have to you. To, so I'm willing to stick with this for exactly. now. Exactly. Exactly. And that's that's all I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. And I think in this scenario, I'm correct. I mean, you agree with me also because I don't. Dudes I just. Are ducks. Her other argument was, well, why wouldn't he just say um that he likes me and it's because of the argument I just said yeah, right now yeah, because he, he, maybe he might not want to fuck he, up he, he's, yeah he's okay with taking the little he has instead of blowing it up and losing it all exactly yeah. and that, that that's it could simply be like that but again I think most people and, uh, and you know it is um, I also said like yeah, I just feel like I have the game on raps to a degree and what I mean by game is like the relationship game of like Guy, guys, and girls. I'm not gonna say like I got in raps like that. I'm not trying to sound like a dickhead either. You know? <laughs> what you did. But I'm tr- I, I, I could tell. I could tell. After <laughs> I said it, I realized that that kind of sounds dickish. But what I mean by that is that there is a lot of um, like I've been on the other side of the coin. Like I've been the guy who has no fucking clue. Like I've been the guy who was like. I'm thinking this is pure. You know I mean? Like, we're having a pure conversation. You know what I mean? But, exa- but I learned later on that, oh, shit, like, so when I text you, the reason you don't text back is because you're just not trying to, like, text me. Now. You, like, you might be like, uh, whatever. And then later on, you might... And it took time for me. So I can see... I know what both sides of that coin looks like. You know what I mean? Because I've been young and naive and not knowing. Just me being in my... I will say in my more pure state. I just didn't know. You know I mean? Nobody told me... That's Any how the game shit. is, yeah. Exactly. Until you kind of, you know, go out there, you play it a little bit, then you understand, oh, this is what X, Y, and Z does. You get me? So, again, man, <clears throat> um, I say that just to say, don't almost never doubt me. You get me? Because I'm almost always right. You heard it here first. Because I sit too close to my thoughts. You get me? Like, I'm constantly in that think mode. And that's why I love when people ask me questions that I just don't be knowing what the fuck. Because then I'll be like, because when somebody asks me, you might ask me something, right? And if I'm not interested in it, 
I'll debate it to my to like as far as my knowledge mm-hmm. goes, but I might leave it there. I might not care. But if you ask me something I'm really interested in, I'm like, damn, I don't know. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do my mm-hmm. research. I'm gonna do some mm-hmm. shit and try to re- like mm-hmm. even like you know the, like the talk of aliens and all mm-hmm. of that shit. Yeah, like like the whole idea of, of super interesting. To me. The whole idea of, of the marriage talk we're having on Wednesday. Yes, we talked about it like Saturday, right? Yeah, uh, and, yeah. and we just left it there. But then you brought it back because I guess you was lingering in your head. It was because it, it was. I was like, holy shit, that I never thought about it that way. I always thought. Yo, you go, whatever you know, get married and like, I don't like the traditional way, right? You have a party, you sign the papers. I never thought about it, like, wait, 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 that's so true. Like, what if in a culture, people get married a different way than not here, and then that considers you married, and then, you know, we had a whole yeah. conversation about it. But, but yeah, that's how you are. You're the person who's like, yo, this come my attention. Let me process it. Yeah. And now that I have different viewpoints on it or different points to discuss, and I yeah, want to yeah. bring it forth for sure. Yeah. Uh, that is to <sighs> say to whoever you are, young lady, um, in a year and a half's time, you're going to be wrong. Yeah, you're going to be wrong. And and I also predict that you will not tell me I'm right because you will have too much pride to be like, hey, look, it turns out that you're right. What will happen is that this you know, relationship will probably discreetly fall off because of whatever reason. Um, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, whatever. And you might just keep that to yourself. And that's an experience that you're going to take with you. But you will learn later on that, oh, shit, well, maybe you know, I should listen to George, you know, a little bit more often because, you know, and even... You, and you'll be the girl who says, you know what? I'm done with guys who are five feet. Now I'm going to go to guys who are six feet because the guy who was five feet broke your heart. Right there. Right. Perfect. Perfect. And this is I'm down. <laughs> and this is I'm down. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. This has been the longest episode we probably ever shot ever. For sure. My throat hurts. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm a little sweaty. I'm done. All right, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> Damn. I'm done with this shit, bro. I saw what I had to say. I spoke my piece. You, you feel I'm like, good. <laughs> you took it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I talked. My it, throat hurts. Is it weird bottling like, it up for what? Two weeks, right? Bottle yeah, up? man. It's been, yeah. So you had to yeah, let go. a little minute. Well, guys, thank you. Follow, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we appreciate your thoughts, your time, and everything you do. 